Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Beast Control, Hatching the Ancient Dragon at the Beginning. Chapter 41 The experienced Li Chengen decided to forget what had just happened, and then asked about the special nature of the wooden puppet skill. Sister Kong, why do so many people want the wood puppet skill? Isn't it just a high-level skill? Kong Siwei said quietly. It is indeed just a high-level skill, but the advancement of this high-level skill is extraordinary. The top-level skill, Chingling Hotbed, and the super-level skill, 10,000 Woods Fertile Fields, are all advanced from this skill. And I heard it clearly, it can only be advanced through this skill. So far, no pet beast or wild monster can directly awaken, Chingling Hotbed, or 10,000 Woods Fertile Field. If you know the purpose of wooden puppets, you should also know how terrifying the advancement of this skill is. It's only tens of billions. Once you awaken and advance successfully, you can earn it back very quickly. Li Chengen finally understood why Mu Qingqing looked shocked when she heard that Yao Yao had awakened the wooden puppet. I see, Li Chengen chuckled, and Kong Siwei had a look of confusion on his face, but she, who was always smart, immediately understood the expression on Li Chengen's face and the meaning behind it. Hey, it turns out that Qingqing also gets hit sometimes. Kong Siwei's voice sounded loud and clear. Li Chengen suddenly shuddered and quickly explained, Ah, this is not the case, I didn't say it. Kong Siwei gave a lingering smile, leaving Li Chengen who was restless and walked away. That day, Li Chengen's dinner was a bowl of thin rice porridge with rapeseed floating in it. The next morning, Kong Siwei brought Li Chengen to the Hunter Guild to pick up the mission. The receptionist at the mission entrustment office said politely, Ms. Kong Siwei, Mr. Li Chengen does not have a formal hunter's qualification certificate, so they do not meet the requirements for performing the mission. Kong Siwei was not surprised at all. She seemed to be fully prepared and asked, I remember that Li Chengen has already passed the theory and the practical basics. He has also reached the standard. Can he apply for the formal hunter assessment? The receptionist worked on the computer, checked the information, and said, it is indeed consistent. Does Mr. Li Chengen want to apply for the official hunter assessment? Li Chengen remembered that he was satisfied with the class hours, but he still needed permission from the actual combat instructor. Lao Mu originally planned to allow Li Chengen to take the assessment after his basic sword skills were demonstrated. Now Kong Siwei, as an eight-star elite hunter, skipped this step directly. Anyway, his basic Tachi sword skills and advanced techniques are all at the level of seeing the gods, so Li Chengen is incompetent. I am sure to apply for the formal hunter assessment. The receptionist nodded, quickly sorted out the various certificates in his hand, stamped them, and said, your official hunter assessment will begin in two hours. Please wait at the hunter arena half an hour in advance. After listening to some process instructions that cannot be ignored, Kong Siwei took Li Chengen through the hunter's trail and came to the hut at the training ground. Li Chengen was a little surprised as to why Kong Siwei brought him here. Kong Siwei said, Since he is the guide in your hunting career, you naturally have to say goodbye to him. Is this also tradition? Yeah, every hunter will experience this farewell. Li Chengen walked into the hut and told Lao Mu what had happened in the past few days, and also talked about his apprenticeship with Kong Siwei. When Lao Mu heard Kong Siwei's name, instead of being surprised, he looked very pleased. It turns out to be the Eternal Blade, Ms. Kong. With her here, I don't have to worry about you wasting your time. Was it arranged by the union? No, Sister Kong is my dad's senior sister. That's fine. Lao Mu didn't want to care about this, and Li Chengen demonstrated in front of him the basic sword skills and advanced techniques of his god seeing realm. Then with a flattering smile on his face, he said, Old Mu, look at this, isn't it, dot hey. Lao Mu laughed and scolded, You, you only care about my private possessions. According to Lao Mu's previous promise, as long as Li Chengen's basic sword skills can reach the state of seeing gods during the summer vacation, he will give Li Chengen a big gift. And Li Chengen not only achieved, but also far exceeded Lao Mu's expectations, both in terms of time and realm. That's fine, this thing shouldn't lie dormant in a dark box for the rest of its life. Lao Mu looked up to the sky and sighed, walked back to the hut, hesitated for a while, held a shiny object in his hand, and threw it to Li Chengen. I'm giving it to you, keep it, at least wait until your boy becomes an elite hunter, and then you can explore the opportunities behind this thing. 
Without giving Li Chengen time to react, Lao Mu kicked him out of the hut. Li Chengen stood outside the door, holding a shiny metal in his hand. No, it feels like scales, but it also has a metallic texture. A gold certificate. Kong Siwei's voice came from above Li Chengen's head. Kong Siwei was 1.9 meters tall in high heels, and Li Chengen, who was not yet fully grown, was more than a head shorter than her. Sister Kong, do you know this? Kong Siwei looked in the direction of the hut and murmured, I didn't expect that there are survivors of that incident here. Then he said to Li Chengen, the golden certificate is also the certificate to enter the land of gold, Belmare. Keep it safe. This should be the glory of that old Mew, and it is also the most painful past. Anyone who is not a seven-star elite hunter is not qualified to use it. Hearing Kong Siwi's increasingly solemn tone, Li Chengen's expression also became solemn and said, I understand. Kong Siwei chuckled, regained her previous carefree attitude, and said, Okay, the serious topic is over. I found that your luck is really good. You are not even a formal hunter, so you got the golden certificate first. I just applied for this thing not long ago with my meritorious service. It's better for you to get it for free. Li Chengen asked curiously, What exactly is Golden Land? What is the use of this proof? Kong Siwei didn't want to say more, but asked Li Chengen to keep it and not show it to others until he had enough strength. Li Chengen put the golden certificate into the space ring and put it away. Lao Mu in the hut looked at Li Chengen's retreating figure through the turbid light in the house. Sitting on his recliner, he let out a long sigh, took a few puffs of cigarette, and exhaled slowly. Lao Mu closed his eyes, remembering the war cry and a roar in his ears, and an unnoticeable tear disappeared into the smoke. On Li Chengen's side, back on the hunter's trail, Kong Siwei asked him to go to the forge to forge an initial sword. Relying on the previous recommendation of Duan Bai and others, Li Chengen found a forging shop with a warhammer sign hanging on the door. Boss Chin, are you there? Li Chengen shouted at the door of Warhammer Forge. After about a few minutes, there was the sound of heavy objects falling to the ground and a burst of hurried footsteps in the forge. After a while, a middle-aged man wearing a leather skirt with his upper body exposed, holding a cigarette holder in his mouth, opened the door curtain and walked out. Hey, isn't this Xiao Cheng An? Why are you here today? Faced with Boss Chin's familiar look, Li Chengen made his request. I want to create an original Ta Chi. Boss Chin took off the cigarette holder from his mouth and said, Is that guy Lao Mu willing to let you go? Li Chengen took out the assessment notice and said, I have reached the level of graduation. This is my official hunter assessment notice. Boss Chin glanced at Li Chengen in surprise. He knew how strict Lao Mu was with Li Chengen. For Lao Mu, the more talented the students, the stricter his requirements for them. Li Chengen's ability to graduate in such a short period of time reflects how talented he is. In this regard, Boss Chin is also willing to sell it well and talk to Li Chengen a few more words. Whether you want a metal knife, a bone knife, or a special series of initial knives, I can forge them. Li Chengen took out the mining harvest from the space ring, handed it to Boss Chin and said, Metal knife, thank you. Boss Chin held the bright crystal and asked Li Chengen, are you going to directly upgrade the black iron sword to a low level high level one? This time is not enough. These are for me to ask Boss Chin to upgrade after I complete the assessment. Boss Chin accepted all these materials, took out a black iron knife from the arsenal, and handed it to Li Chengen. No, I have forged a lot of black iron swords in the past, so I will give you one directly. But as a forger, I still have to remind you. The best weapons currently are made of Warcraft materials. Take my advice, metal knives have no future. If you have the ability, change it quickly. Unless you accidentally obtained the core of the mineral vein in the territory of the pure blood metal dragon, and also gave the pure blood metal dragon a few buckets of blood, otherwise, it is better to change weapons quickly. Li Chengen would not question a forging expert in the field of weapons, and besides, he had good intentions. I understand, Boss Chin. After going out with the black iron knife, Li Chengen found Kong Siwei and asked her about the metal knife series. Boss Chin is right. The metal knife series generally has no future unless you kill a metal dragon like he said. But you are different. Although you don't have the material for a pure-blooded metal dragon, you have a chance to get a gift from an ancient dragon in this field. Ancient dragon. 
Li Chengen is still wondering what cologne he is related to again. In an instant, a spark flashed through his mind, and Li Chengen immediately thought of the golden certificate given by Lao Mu. Could it be? Li Chengen looked up and saw Kong Siwi's expression that was half smiling but not smiling. He immediately stopped thinking and silently buried the matter in his heart. The master and apprentice changed the topic in a tacit understanding, and walked towards the arena while chatting. Remember to prepare a metal knife that rises to the top in the future. Um, I'll go talk to the others. You wait in the arena for the assessment. Um, Li Chengen sat cross-legged in the waiting room, with the black iron knife on his lap, slowly entering a meditative state. More than an hour later, apprentice hunter Li Chengen, please come to the arena and accept the assessment. Li Chengen, who was meditating, suddenly opened his eyes, and a sharp light flashed through his eyes. The entire arena is funnel-shaped, with a wide flat ground in the center and a circle of auditoriums surrounding it. Directly east of the arena is the rostrum, on which three people are sitting. One of them is Kong Siwei, the other two are the union director Luo Hai, and the mysterious president, Ms. Li Waida. Li Chengen, who came up with a black iron sword on his back, looked around and the corners of his mouth twitched slightly. Good guys, you drunkards are just so idle, right? In addition to the podium, he saw many hunters he was familiar with sitting sparsely in the surrounding auditorium. As soon as this group of drunkards heard that Li Chengen was going to take the test today, even the hunters who originally planned to take the mission gave up their thoughts. Came here specifically to watch the excitement at the arena. On the rostrum, Supervisor Luo Hai saw the group of hunters in the audience who had already started punching each other. Veins popped up on his forehead. I wish I could go out in person and beat up all those drunkards regardless of the occasion. Supervisor Luo Hai suppressed the rage in his heart, and a smile that could scare a child into tears appeared on his muscular face. He said to Kong Siwei, Ms. Kong has left a bad impression on you. They are usually quite serious. The atmosphere must be too lively today, so they are a little out of character. Kong Siwei looked at the audience with envy, and said as if she didn't care, it's nothing, the union's entangling are pretty much the same. Seeing them like this, I thought I was back in Tangling City. Director Luo Hai breathed a sigh of relief when he heard this. President Vita covered her mouth with a fan and laughed softly. Whether it was the scene below or the reaction above, it was very interesting. The assessment begins now. With the referee's order, the alloy fence directly opposite Li Chengen rumbled up. After a while, three small monsters covered with yellow scales and full of sharp teeth rushed out from the fence, baring his teeth at the surrounding audience. There is no protective formation in the arena, mainly because it is not necessary. Most of the people here are hunters. According to their words, these monsters can be crushed to death with bare hands without wearing any equipment. Yellow Scale Beast The introduction of this small monster came to Li Chengen's heart. The Yellow Scaled Beast is a small extraordinary dragon beast, generally with extraordinary one-star strength, and is in a middle to lower position among this level of monsters. Slightly worse than the black-tusked wild boar. Although it is a dragon beast, the dragon blood in its body is so meager that it is almost impossible to find it. They like to hunt ordinary animals in groups. If a yellow-scaled beast king appears in the yellow-scaled beast group, they can even hunt some large elite-level monsters. If there were only three heads, Li Chengen thought to himself, one minute. The floor of the arena was an ordinary dirt road. Li Chengen rushed forward and kicked up the sand on the ground. The three yellow-scaled beasts were confused. Then he drew his sword and slashed horizontally, a sharp light flashed in his eyes, and the black iron sword quietly completed the accumulation and refinement of the sword's power in the horizontal stroke. The three yellow-scaled beasts were cut in half with a knife before they could react. Li Chengen sheathed the knife and stood quietly on the three corpses. Plus one agility. Not bad, at least there are some gains, Li Chengen commented in his heart. There was an uproar in the audience, and several hunters watching the show made a lot of noise. Basic sword skills are at the level of gods. More than that, looking at the special burst of sword power, I guess the air blade slash is also in the realm of seeing the gods. It seems that this test is not difficult for Brother Lee. It's gone and there's nothing to see. Anyway, it's a crushing game. Kong Siwei on the rostrum did not expect that Li Chengen, who had replaced the black iron sword, would be so fierce, killing three times with one sword. 
It seemed that he had underestimated this disciple. So he said to President Vita, please release the remaining two waves of yellow-scaled beasts. Supervisor Luo Hai frowned and said, Ms. Kong, this is against the rules, and if it is released together, according to your request, Li Chengen's life may be in danger. President Vita looked at the show with a hint of majesty in her eyes, and replied, Ms. Kong, are you sure? Kong Siwei nodded and said, His pet beast can kill the black-tusked wild boar king who is about to evolve. As soon as these words came out, President Vita's eyes returned to their previous clearness, and she nodded and agreed to Kong Siwei's proposal. Director Luo Hai wanted to say something else, but was blocked by Ms. Vita's smile. Li Chengen in the arena was still wondering why the second wave of assessments took so long. At this moment, the alloy fence trembled violently, not because of the mechanical operation, but because something hit the alloy fence. Li Chengen narrowed his eyes slightly, and the expression on his face had become extremely serious. He felt that something big was coming. Several hunters who were about to leave also stopped. It was obvious that they thought there was something good to watch next. Boom, the alloy fence opened, and a three-meter-tall, seven-meter-long giant beast strolled out of the darkness, followed by a dozen yellow-scaled beasts who were watching from side to side. Li Chengen almost cursed, pinching his hair, the yellow-scaled beast king. There are also a dozen younger brothers following him. This lineup is enough to go head-to-head -head with elite-level Warcraft. All go, the president wants to kill little Cheng An. Does he have any grudge against the president? I don't know, but with so many of us watching, there shouldn't be anything shady. Yes, no matter what happens, we can still save Xiao Cheng An in time. Li Chengen quickly calmed down and licked his dry lips. Instead of being afraid, he felt a little expectant and excited. This feeling comes again. Just like the last group of black-tusked wild boars, there is no fear, only the joy of hunting. Li Chengen is now very sure that this feeling is not only caused by the instinct of the Hellfire Dragon's bloodline, but also by the hunting notes. Forcibly influencing a young man of the new era to become a hunting maniac. The yellow-scaled beast king roared angrily, and the yellow-scaled beasts who received the order dispersed and formed small teams. With just this change, these yellow-scaled beasts were enough to crush the group of black-tusked wild boars that day. Although its defense is not as good as that of the black-tusked boar, its speed and intelligence far exceed them. Li Chengen's eyes were fixed on the extraordinary three-star yellow-scaled beast king. The scales on the neck of this strong beast king had turned yellow and green. It means that the opponent is about to complete the transformation of his bloodline. Once successful, he will become an elite thin-blooded dragon species, the yellow-scaled dragon. A good and powerful enemy. Li Chengen slashed at the yellow-scaled beast king regardless of his own safety. This scene seemed to others to be an extremely irrational action. Lost your cool. No, the sword power has not changed, it is still so stable. The yellow-scaled beast king sensed the threat of Li Chengen's sword, twisted his huge body very flexibly, and easily dodged the blow. When the attack failed, Li Chengen took advantage of the situation and turned into a horizontal slash. The large-scale slash made the yellow-scaled beast king unable to dodge and was struck by the sword. Oh Wu, the yellow-scaled beast king groaned in pain. The scales that had just been struck by the blade were broken, and there was faint blood oozing out. Oh Wu, with a roar, the hesitant yellow-scaled beasts around began to attack. Li Chengen ignored these yellow-scaled beasts and focused on beating the yellow-scaled beast king. The yellow-scaled beast king was very embarrassed by this desperate fighting method. Not a single skill was released, and several of the younger brothers were hacked to death by Li Chengen. It looked like a scene that accidentally injured the yellow-scaled beast, but in the eyes of President Vita, it looked completely different. What a clever little guy. He seems to have lost his mind, but in fact he is frightening the yellow-scaled beast king and building up his sword power at the same time. A few more yellow-scaled beasts died, the sword on Li Chengen became colder and colder, and several hunters also discovered some clues. What a trick! Relying on the wild monster's instinct to worry about being injured, we can cut out the danger and concentrate the sword's power at the same time. Outside, once a warcraft is severely damaged, it will be easily chased by other warcraft. Therefore, there is not enough assurance that the warcraft will not fight you to the death. Li Chengen took advantage of this to quietly gather the power of the sword. 
By the time the yellow-scaled beast reacted, the yellow blade had already been gathered. Its little brother is also dead, and the victory will be determined by then. As for whether he would be discovered by the yellow-scale beast king, generally speaking he would not. Although the yellow-scale beast king's intelligence is good, it is not to the level of playing tricks with humans. At most, after seeing most of his younger brother dead, and realizing that he couldn't escape, his blood was aroused, and then he would challenge Li Chengen face to face. After Li Chengen killed two yellow-scaled beasts, a yellow sheen appeared on the black iron sword. Ha! Huh, one step at a time. Is this the yellow blade? Where is the white blade? Idiot, I guess this is the direction of Xiao Chengen's understanding. It's amazing. I can condense the yellow blade with just the number of attacks of the white blade. I actually met a genius who can only be seen in the book. There was a lot of chatter in the audience, and President Vita's beautiful eyes were filled with brilliance as she watched the show. This precious baby actually came from the branch under her jurisdiction. Oh ho ho, it seems that this year's rookie competition is going to be successful. As Li Chengen expected, the yellow-scaled beast king on the field was threatened by the power of the yellow blade and went crazy. It no longer cared about its injuries, called to its younger brother, and rushed towards Li Chengen together. Yellow Blood Claw The yellow-scaled beast king's front paws oozed khaki blood. This was dragon's blood. This move meant that the yellow-scaled beast king had truly put his life on the line. Even the dragon's blood for future promotion was used. Li Chengen took a deep breath, put the sword into its sheath, and made a gesture of drawing the sword to strike. The stronger the power on the other side, the calmer his mentality becomes, and the firmer his grip on the knife becomes. A flash of dark red flashed across his lowered gaze, and the black iron sword suddenly came out of its sheath, leaving a bright yellow mark in the void. The air blade explodes. The figures of all the yellow-scaled beasts and the yellow-scaled beast king that flew towards them stopped in midair, and then split into two. Li Chengen turned around calmly, sheathed his sword, and looked at the audience opposite him expressionlessly. The smelly internal organs of the yellow-scaled beasts, along with the bright red blood, turned into a waterfall of blood and spread on the ground of the arena. Plus one intermediate skill stone, yellow blood claw. Plus one agility. Plus one agility. Plus one agility. After four prompts in a row, Li Chengen's mood was a little agitated. It wasn't because he was lucky today and had a high explosion rate. It's that his body skills have successfully advanced to the subtle realm during the siege just now. One step away from meeting Kong Siwi's requirements. Li Chengen's body skills are different from his sword skills, and his talent dexterity has not yet been developed to the point where he can activate it without using his hands. Therefore, the progress of body skills has always lagged far behind that of sword skills. Now that he has finally made a breakthrough, Li Chengen is naturally very happy. Li Chengen passed the formal hunter assessment. The referee announces the final decision. The audience remembered the warm applause. One was for the young hunter, and the other was for the stunning strike just now. Several people on the podium also applauded. Kong Siwei is very satisfied with Li Chengen's performance. Director Luo Hai and President Vita were thinking. A salary increase is expected this year, a promotion is expected this year. After the assessment was completed, Li Chengen was taken away by Kong Siwei, which made the hunters who took Li Chengen to drink quite regretful. You are so brave if you want to drag an underage to drink. As soon as President Vita and Kong Siwei left, Director Luo Hai completely exploded. He stopped the previous leading hunters and cursed them. His performance this time was good, and the union gave him a bronze two-star hunter rating. The reason why he was not given three stars is because his training as a beast master is not enough to complete some difficult tasks with three stars. As for why, there are also some extraordinary monsters that are strong and weak, some are as strong as Mau Mau, and some are as harmless as Beowasau. The enemy that the three-star hunter has to face, although not as good as Mau Mau, is still an elite among the extraordinary monsters. The Union believes that with his current strength, he is very likely to overturn. Li Chengen said it was okay. He couldn't say that he could control the resonance of beasts and sweep all extraordinary monsters. It is easy to expose one's own particularity in that way. The key is that this particularity is also prone to accidents, and Dad's warning is still fresh in his mind. After Li Chengen came out, Kong Siwei gave him an hour of free time to deal with things. 
After taking care of it, it's time to set off to perform the mission. In the forge, Boss Chin's loudspeaker sounded. Is there an initial hunter set? I have it here, but it still takes time to create the materials for the yellow-scaled beast. First give me a set of initial equipment. My teacher will take me on a mission in the afternoon. Li Chang'in was a little troubled. Kong Siwei would definitely take him to the hunting ground. Even the hunting ground in the city was a dangerous place that low-level beast masters did not dare to go deep into. If he had better equipment, he could be more calm. After paying the money for the yellow-scale beast armor and the black iron sword, Li Chengen put on the initial armor and came to the logistics office. The old rule is to start with 10 bottles of wound medicine, plus antidote, animal repellent powder and insect repellent powder. I also bought two sets of some other camping tools, just in case. After reuniting with Kong Siwei, Kong Siwei put on black and purple dress armor. The overall armor was slightly thinner and showed Kong Siwei's rather hot figure. The high heels on her feet were replaced by black leather boots, and a crystal-colored sword was slung behind her back. Her pink-purple hair is tied into a bun, a bit like King Arthur in the previous FGO game, leaving only a thin lock of hair hanging on the right cheek. Kong Siwei liked Li Chang'an's, oh ha, expression very much and said proudly, what's wrong? Are you stunned? Li Chang'an extended his thumb and praised without hesitation, saying, well, Sister Kong is really heroic. Faced with Li Chang'an's straightforward praise, Kong Siwei flicked the thin hair with her right hand and raised her head proudly. Hurry up and change your equipment. The Union's special plane is about to leave. Li Chang'an neatly changed his equipment in the locker room. The hunter's initial suit was not beautiful, rather bloated, and was mainly practical. There are two types of initial suits, one is leather armor, and the other is mixed with a large number of metal parts to improve defense. Li Chengen chose leather armor, as metal armor would affect his movement too much. The leather armor is much smaller, but Li Chengen still looks very strong. The yellow-green color scheme allows him to have a good concealment effect in the wild. After boarding the special plane provided by the Hunter Guild, the master and apprentice arrived at the dragon's back hunting ground. This is one of the three major hunting grounds in Hongyan City, the other two being Haiyan and Mayasan hunting grounds. The hunting ground in the city retains the style outside the city to the greatest extent, so the monsters inside are also wild and untamable and very violent. But the resources inside are unmatched by some of the deep mountains and old forests in the city. This is a paradise for the beast hunting group, an amusement park for old hunters, and a proving ground for new hunters. The task Kong Siwei assigned to Li Chang'an was to sweep away a group of discharged rats in the Longji Mountains. According to the task list description, there is a high probability that this group of electric discharge rats will give birth to elite-level monsters such as lightning rats. If Kong Siwei had not led the team this time, the receptionist would not have given this task to Li Chang'an. The master and apprentice did not rush towards the habitat of the electric rat, but walked slowly. Along the way, Kong Siwei continued to explain to Li Chang'an some hardcore knowledge about hunter tracking and survival. Although Li Chang'an has read many things in books, in reality, these memories are somewhat limited. Do you know how to tell the owner's state when he is undressing his hands by soaking rice? And what the owner has eaten and done before? This is the kind of problem Li Chang'an faces these days. A lot of useful knowledge is growing rapidly, and he lives a very fulfilling life every day. Yao Yao has been playing crazy these days. As a pet beast of the wood type, she likes this kind of primitive forest the most and has collected a lot of rare resources. If you encounter a guardian monster that you can't defeat, just grab Mao Mao and fight together. The pet beast that Kong Siwei sent to protect came back not long after, mainly because Mao Mao's methods were too cruel. Even some elite level monsters can easily be burned to death by Mao Mao's mouthful of hellfire. Kong Siwei's pet said that at least in this peripheral area, the two children were invincible. In this regard, Kong Siwei was silent for a while and decisively focused all her attention on Li Chang'an. Li Chang'an's life is a hot one, but the key is that his improvement in strength has not fallen behind. Due to Mao Mao and Yao Yao's rampage, Li Chang'an's harvest of attribute points and skill stones never stopped. Dozens of attribute values and five skill stones are what I have gained in the past few days. Three of these five skill stones are not suitable for Yao Yao and Mao Mao, and the other two are the wood-type mid-level skill, slow healing, and the non-attribute mid-level skill, hidden breath. 
Yao Yao is suitable for both, while Mao Mao is only suitable for the hidden breath skill. Originally, there was a question about whether Yao Yao could withstand the influence of the hunting notes. Mao Mao looked through her inherited memories and said she could. But it requires skill. Every time Yao Yao adds points, she needs to use moonlight condensation to activate the waning moon mark between her eyebrows and clear the influence of the hunting notes through long-term meditation. Li Chengen made arrangements for this, Yao Yao learned slow healing and Mao Mao learned the breath-gathering skill, hidden breath. After the skills were assigned, when Yao Yao first learned slow healing, Yu Gong's ears stood up in shock. It was Mao Mao who explained the relevant things to it. Then Yao Yao's enthusiasm for collecting skill stones was as high as ever. The slow healing skill comes from Qingwei grass, a spiritual plant similar to leeks, which also has the property of growing again after being cut. The hidden breath skill comes from the nearby blue mist grass. This kind of spiritual plant has wilted during the day, turning as yellow as hay. Once at night, especially under the moonlight, the blue mist grass will emit blue mist, forming a wonderful mysterious garden. A meadow with lots of blue mist grass is more beautiful than most of the world's beautiful scenery at night. The hidden breath skill is one of the reasons why blue mist grass is in its daytime state. During the time Li Chengen was studying, the blue mist grass and green weed grass nearby suffered a lot. In the end, if Li Chengen hadn't stopped them, the two kids would have wiped out all the land nearby. You can't just point to one place when gathering wool. In the camp, Li Chengen sternly scolded the two little guys. Yao Yao and Mao Mao sat obediently on the spot, looking like they had admitted their mistake. Fortunately, he discovered it in time, otherwise the ecology nearby would have been destroyed. Blue mist grass is the food source for most herbivorous monsters, and blue mist grass has become a good place for many omnivorous monsters to hunt due to its ability to glow at night. If these two spiritual plants become extinct nearby, the ecological chain nearby will definitely suffer a devastating blow. This is why Li Chengen is so angry this time. The two little ones also understood what Li Chengen said, and decided to change the grass next time and continue harvesting. Li Chengen was very pleased with this, and then started the sharing meeting, or, distribution meeting. There are two main skill stones of blue mist grass, the low-level moonlight condensation and the mid-level hidden breath which are exploded from the blue mist grass at night and during the day respectively. Yao Yao is the discoverer. Qingwei Kao also has two skills, the low-level fast growth and the mid-level slow healing, both of which are very suitable for Yao Yao. Due to the large number of these two spiritual plants, the two skills Yao Yao learned, fast growth and slow healing, were enough to reach the perfect level. Moonlight Condensation was the first to move from the original proficiency level to the perfection level. In order to eliminate the influence of hunting notes, this skill has the highest priority. This still takes into account the hidden breath skill stone that Mao Mao needs. It can be seen that there are many weeds around here. Only when the skill proficiency of moonlight condensation reaches the dominant level will Li Chengen consider learning those two skills for Yao Yao. Mao Mao's hidden breath skill has also reached the perfect level. Originally it could only suppress the breath of a hybrid dragon, but now it can suppress it to the level of a hybrid dragon. The further the breath is pressed down, the more difficult it becomes. Li Chengen and Mao Mao are very satisfied with this result. After Li Chengen's teaching was completed, Kong Siwei took him slowly to the habitat of the discharge rat. The discharge rat's habitat is near a magnet mine. Due to the influence of the magnetic field, no other plants grow around it. There are only thunderthorn bushes everywhere. This shrub is also an extraordinary spiritual plant. It has no spiritual intelligence. The entire plant is green and black, and the thorns on it are glowing with yellow fluorescence. That is the result of the meager thunder attribute energy concentrated on the thunderthorn bush. The thunderthorn berries produced by the thunderthorn shrub are also a favorite of this group of electric rats. Eating this berry is like holding a pack of popping candies in your mouth. It is full of energy and is highly sought after by some food lovers. But Li Chengen is not here to pick fruits today, but to clean up the electrified rats. Union investigators found that the number of discharge rats here seriously exceeded the limit and had affected the natural derivation of magnetite mines. This is because the discharge rats themselves are beneficial to the development of magnet ore, but if the number is too large, it will cause irreversible damage to the magnet ore. For the sustainable development of this rare mineral site, 
the union decided to clear out a considerable number of discharge rats. Go in, don't damage too many thunderthorn shrubs, otherwise the union will ask you to compensate, and you will have to compensate for the mission reward at that time. Li Chengen's face trembled when he heard this. He had to pay extra money to go to work. This was something he could still encounter in his life. There is reason and evidence. Walking into the magnet mine area, if Li Chengen hadn't been wearing armor, there would have been scratches on Li Chengen's body. Or the unique burnt black scratches of the thunderthorn bush, scorched by electricity. By the time he arrived at the territory of the discharge rat, the leather armor on his body was already a bit unbearable to look at. At this moment, some electric rats picking berries discovered Li Chengen, an uninvited guest. Li Chengen took advantage of the situation and used the force of his knife to strike. The electric rats immediately began to squeak and call out to their companions. While they were gathering their accomplices, Li Chengen took advantage of the situation and found a relatively open place to prepare for the battle. A quarter of an hour later, a large group of black, yellow skinned mice stared at Li Chengen with scarlet eyes. Yao Yao came out and gave him a green grass blessing, which increased the recovery of mental power and the sensitivity of perception. Mao Mao is ready to go in the beast controlling space. If Li Chang'an encounters a life or death crisis, he will immediately come out to help. Kong Siwei crossed her arms and watched quietly outside. Squeak, the leader of the discharge rats shouted, and a large group of discharge rats swarmed up. Li Chang'an didn't waste any time and directly used the air blade to sweep across a wide area to prevent the group of electric rats from launching a group attack. The specialty skill of the discharge rat is discharge. The power of a single discharge is not very good. Once the number of them hides, that power is no worse than the high-level skills thunder and million volts. Fortunately, Li Chang'an has reached the state of seeing gods with air blade slashing. He is not only refining the power of the sword, but also accumulating the power of the sword. There are more discharge rats, and Li Chang'an's efficiency in accumulating sword power is also much faster. In less than a few minutes, Li Chang'an condensed the yellow blade. One knife at a time, kid. Several discharge rats saw this and started squeaking. Some of the discharge rats gathered together and touched each other's lightning-shaped ears. A yellow plasma ball gradually condensed above them, and Li Chengen felt this threat from a distance. The sword's power changed, and his body resembled a butterfly passing through flowers and leaves, evading the pursuit of most of the discharge rats. Thrust, Li Chengen's figure quickly lunged forward for a distance. Breaking blade combo. Seven consecutive slashes broke out among the group of discharge rats, followed by 14 additional attacks, killing half of the discharge rats maintaining the plasma mass. Plus one thunder attribute affinity. Plus one agility. Plus one agility. Plus one thunder attribute affinity. Dot dot. This explosion with the sword allowed Li Chang'an to gain a lot of agility attributes. As for the thunder attribute affinity, so far it is the same as the previous Earth attribute affinity and is of no use for the time being. After gaining a lot of agility attributes, Li Chang'an's movement speed is much faster. Kong Siwei was astonished. A breakthrough in body technique. Or is the potential exploding? Why is it so much faster? Since half of the discharge rats are missing to maintain the plasma group, the remaining half of the discharge rats are unable to maintain this energy group. In their desperate little eyes, the plasma ball still exploded. The surrounding discharge rats were cleared away, and there were charred black corpses everywhere. Even though they are thunder beasts with good lightning resistance, the energy level of lightning is so large that even a rubber plate can penetrate it. Not to mention flesh and blood. Fortunately, Li Chang'an ran away in time and was not affected, but the explosion of the plasma ball caused a very loud noise. The ground of the entire magnetite mine trembled, and at the same time, it also awakened the existence on the other side. In Mao Mao's early warning, Li Chengen sensed that a very fast monster was sprinting up from the ground. Li Chengen had already guessed who was coming, a lightning rat. With such a fast speed and being in the territory of the discharge rat, it can only be the lightning rat. A yellow light flashed before Li Chengen's eyes, and a half-meter-sized yellow-skinned mouse appeared on the battlefield. The characteristic of this yellow-skinned mouse is that of a lightning mouse. The assembly line figure, coupled with the blue lightning logo on the ears and tail, is undoubtedly a lightning rat in its prime. There was no unnecessary foreplay when one person and one animal met. 
The lightning rat invited this little brother to come with him without any morals. Li Chengen's eyelids jumped wildly when he saw this. Normally, leader-level monsters would test the water in a one-on-one -on -one fight first, and then call others if it doesn't work. This lightning rat was better, he directly called his younger brother to join him shoulder to shoulder. Lightning flash. The lightning rat turned into a bolt of yellow lightning and rushed towards Li Chengen. Lightning claw. Li Chengen's alarm bell sounded and he was in a state of concentration. What happened next was no longer a one-sided hunt, but a helter-skelter evasion of attacks. The lightning rat was very fast, dancing on the ground like a yellow flash. Li Chengen couldn't draw the knife as fast as it, so he could only passively defend himself from being beaten. The initial armor was like paper when faced with the attack of elite-level monsters, and part of it was broken in a few blows. You can still see blood flowing out of the broken parts of the leather armor. Yao Yao took the opportunity to get into Li Chengen's leather armor, clean the wound with moonlight, and then sprinkle medicine on his wound. The severe pain caused by the medicine made Li Chengen more focused. Can't be concentrated anymore, avoid its attacks. With Li Chengen's full concentration, one of Lightning Rat's lightning claws accidentally missed. A look of surprise appeared on Kong Siwi's face, no, it wasn't missed, but it passed through the body. Li Chengen also noticed this and tried hard to find the feeling just now. After adding a few more wounds, Li Chengen finally caught the slightest hint of inspiration. Even if the Lightning Rat uses Lightning Bolt and Lightning Claw after that, it will be difficult to attack Li Chengen. Because the moment it attacked, Li Chengen's figure was in a trance. By the time the Lightning Rat reacted, he had already moved from in front of Li Chengen to behind him. After several consecutive attacks to no avail, the Lightning Rat has fallen deeply into confusion. What is going on? Kong Siwi's beautiful eyes became brighter and brighter as she watched the battle. She did not expect that her apprentice would understand the characteristics of this movement technique. What a stroke of luck. Invincible frame, also known as framing of space fusion. Every official beast master has a beast master space, which means that every beast master has a certain space affinity. Generally speaking, the larger the beast control space, the higher the space affinity. Therefore, some beast masters will realize space type abilities under certain opportunities. This can be seen from the space storage device that the king level beast master rubs with his hands. The ability that Li Chengen realized allows people to briefly integrate into the surrounding space for a moment. At this moment, you are immune to energy attacks and physical attacks. Unless interrupted with space skills, at this moment, Li Chengen's attack is in a state of invalidation. Of course, it can also be interrupted with an attack that is enough to distort or break the space, but that would be a bit outweighing the gains. Using a big move in exchange for an ordinary dodge is a big loss. What's more, an attack of this magnitude is something that only an elite lightning rat can't do. Having found the rhythm, Li Chengen once again condensed the yellow blade, and relied on the experience gained from being beaten to seize a flaw in the lightning rat. The air blade explodes, the bright yellow sword light flashed across the lightning rat's retreat, cutting it off. The lightning rat that had lost its hind legs could no longer possess that terrifying speed. Now it looked at Li Chengen with a long lost fear in its eyes. Li Chengen raised his sword and smiled ferociously at the lightning rat, run. You can run away again. Seeing the leader's seriously injured discharge rats, they rushed towards Li Chengen desperately. Having entered the realm of Mingyi with basic body skills, he no longer needs to think about training. Then, Mao Mao, Yao Yao, go ahead and kill these yellow-skinned rats. The firelight and the moon blades intertwined with each other, and the two little ones, which had already accumulated enough anger, were killing wantonly. Li Chengen, on the other hand, took the sword and killed the lightning rat that was struggling on the spot. Cut off Shu Shu's duck head with one knife. Plus six agility. The elite one-star lightning rat brought a full six points of agility to Li Chengen, plus the attribute values that Mao Mao now occasionally feeds back. Li Chengen felt that his perspective on the surrounding environment had changed, and he felt that the speed of these discharge rats was slower. Could it be that with more agility attributes, not only the speed will be increased, but also the neural reaction speed will be improved? After comparing his previous feelings, Li Chengen confirmed this. Maybe after gaining more other attributes, there will be additional gains. About seven or eight minutes later, 
Under the scorching heat of Mau Mau's hellfire, a large number of electric rats and thunderthorn shrubs were reduced to ashes. This is Li Chengen's choice of a place with few shrubs, as opposed to a place with luxuriant shrubs. Li Chengen shuddered, but fortunately he didn't let Mau Mau go on a killing spree. Thanks to the generous sponsorship of the Discharge Rat Clan, Mau Mau ate up all the life energy this time. Although it won't advance again, According to Mau Mau's answer, it will use this part of its life energy to practice its skills. Later, Li Chang'an learned that Ji Yulong's skills were actually in his inherited memory. Even if he hadn't awakened, he could learn these skills through training in the future. Although the process will be a little more difficult. Li Chang'an and Yao Yao were very envious of this. They were indeed ancient dragons and could become stronger in this way. In a way, the hunting notes are not as useful as the ancient dragon's inherited memory. No wonder Mau Mau is not affected by the hunting notes. His ancestors have made arrangements for his descendants. Wherever he needs the kind of buckle button buffs, he can become stronger just by lying down. In this regard, Li Chang'an was once again convinced that his talent was the biggest golden finger, especially the heart of the ancient dragon's heaven-defying effect on ancient dragons. The hunting notes feel like attack. After cleaning up the discharge rats, Kong Siwei appeared, patted Li Chang'an on the shoulder, and said, What a good boy, you gave me ten big surprises. He even realized the meaning of space blur. Hearing this, Li Chang'an commented, Blurred space. It's very consistent with my impact on this feeling. Kong Siwei popularized the advantages and disadvantages of this body technique to him. The characteristics of this body skill are good, but you can't rely too much on it. It will become weaker in the later stages, because when you reach the king level beast master and above, there are too many ways to affect the space. Li Chang'an respectfully asked Kong Siwei, Sister Kong, please give me some advice. Kong Siwei waved her hand to express that I was not interested in this, and then said, It's not that there are no ways to improve, but it's difficult. Do you want to learn it? Want? Okay, then I'll tell you the method. It's very simple. Just let the sword force and body technique be perfectly integrated together. This is called potential fusion space. If someone wants to interrupt your dodge, they must first face your sword. Coupled with the sharp effect of your sword, there is no difference between someone wanting to interrupt you and being stabbed by you. I guess according to your kid's plan for himself, if I stab you in the future, I'll probably lose half my life. Li Chang'an lowered his head and smiled sheepishly. In fact, he did think so. Mainly uses a flat A, which is the ultimate move. In the future, his physical fitness will improve, and he will resonate perfectly with Mau Mau, and the effect of level A will be even more terrifying. A knife and half a life. No, use your life in exchange for my knowledge. Tai Dao's eye hated others interrupting his views most in his life. Kong Siwei is also very satisfied with Li Chang'an's plan for himself. He has future goals at this stage and has taken the first step unswervingly. Based on this alone, Li Chang'an is enough to be called a genius. After that, Kong Siwei and Li Chang'an began to guide the dissection of World of Warcraft. For hunters, in addition to hunting, the processing of materials is also a top priority. Li Chang'an, who has ingenuity and dexterity, used a knife to dissect a few discharge rats, and he has completely mastered the dissection skills of this kind of monster. Kong Siwei felt very unfulfilled and handed over the job to Li Chang'an, while she watched from the sidelines. This apprentice is good at everything, but it makes her feel very unfulfilled as a master. Especially in terms of being able to get started, there is simply no sense of experience at all. Hey, what is this? Li Chang'an dug out a yellow stone the size of a fingernail from the lightning rat's paw, which had a texture similar to jade. Kong Siwei turned around saw the jade in Li Chang'an's hand, and once again lamented the disciple's luck. This is crystal jade, a rare product found on the corpses of monsters. This is Jingyu, Li Chang'an exclaimed. He learned from the books in the guild reading room that the Warcraft of Blue Star did not have a Warcraft core. It is generally impossible to have stones in the body. Crystal jade, a rare material, is a product of energy accumulation in a short period of time. According to the research of Dongguang Kingdom Research Institute, the production of crystal jade has nothing to do with the strength of Warcraft, it has to do with the accumulation of energy in the body of Warcraft or the changes in the life energy of the surrounding environment. 
If there is a problem with the energy circulation in a monster's body, and there is energy accumulation in the body, then the probability of this monster producing crystal jade is extremely high. Or a Warcraft's territory may experience a rapid increase in life energy in a short period of time, and the Warcraft itself may not have time to digest the surge in energy. A similar situation will also occur. The function of Crystal Jade is to upgrade the same type of equipment to a higher level. For example, the Tachi made by the Lightning Rat is a low-level mid-level talisman, but if the Crystal Jade produced by the Lightning Rat is used, it will most likely become an intermediate-level talisman. Crystal Jade can have this effect because Crystal Jade is formed by a large amount of original energy from monsters. You're lucky. Now your weapon is a cannon instead of a shotgun. Li Chengen laughed like a fool. This situation was probably the same as the pleasure of playing an MMO game and suddenly bursting out with the best weapons. The men here should all know the pride of being able to brag for a week. After stripping all the materials, Kong Siwei and Ji Chengen quickly left the magnet mine. After they left, there were suddenly more green eyes nearby. Another feast has begun. Returning to the temporary camp, Li Chengen estimated the harvest. In addition to the materials used to make the Jidan Tai sword, the remaining materials could be purchased for 1 million yuan. Don't think it's too much, this is the contribution of most of the discharge rat clan, which is already very little. Kong Siwei didn't care about the small amount of money. She looked like she was looking forward to a good show and said, Tisk, 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 you kids should understand why the hunter is so poor. Li Chengen's expression was gloomy. Kong Siwei had just shown him the processing fee for the mid-level talisman, so he could only say that this mission was almost in vain. This is still a preferential price from the hunter guild. If a hunter wants to be fully armed, the cost ranks first among all professions. Armor, weapons, talismans, gem inlays and pet equipment production. Each one costs a lot of money, 9 out of 10 hunters have two sleeves of breeze, this is not just talk. Of course, this poverty is compared with the level of the hunter. It is impossible that an elite hunter cannot afford tens of millions. Their poverty is limited to expensive equipment. For daily life, they are still very rich. On the way back, Kong Siwei also gave Li Chengen guidance on the relevant practice methods of potential fusion space and Tai sword techniques. Even though most of Li Chengen's techniques have reached the realm of seeing gods, there are a thousand hamlets for every one thousand readers. Even if it is the same basic technique, everyone's understanding is different. Kong Siwi's guidance allowed Li Chengen to view the techniques he learned from another perspective, and he benefited a lot. At the same time, he also understood the origin of Kong Siwi's title of Infernal Blade. After Kong Siwei used the red blade state to continuously use air blade bursts and blade breaking combos, the red light that still appeared on the blade blinded Li Chengen's eyes. He thought that his one-handedness was outrageous, but he didn't expect that his master was even more perverted. However, Kong Siwei also said that after two consecutive explosions, she would not be able to use techniques such as air blade explosions in a short period of time. But the blessing brought by the red blade state is still there. Even so, Li Chengen still felt very perverted, so he spent the rest of the time pestering Kong Siwei. On the way back, Ms. Kong not only enjoyed the novelty brought by teaching disciples, but also had to bear the feeling of cardiac arrest caused by Li Chengen's rapid progress. It can be said to be both painful and happy. After returning to the Union, Li Chengen took the crystal jade of the lightning rat and the pointed ears of a large number of discharged rats to prove the completion of the mission. After the on-site investigation, the Union investigator will send 200,000 Dongguang coins and 20 merit points to Li Chengen's hunter account. The main harvest of this mission is not Dongguang coins, but the hunter's merits. As long as you accumulate 100 merit points, Boss Chin can create a high-level talisman for free, including weapons and armor. If it is a talisman, you need to go to the alchemy room next door and find an alchemist. After keeping enough materials, Li Chengen sold the excess materials at the logistics office, plus some unnecessary resources obtained by Yao Yao and Mao Mao Gun, and received a total of 2.23 million Dongguang coins. The processing fee for the Shidan Tai sword requires 1.2 million, and the food expenses for Mao Mao and Yao Yao for the next month cost another 970,000. Li Chengen added the mission reward, and only 260,000 Dongguang coins were left in this harvest. At this moment, 
he realized firsthand why the hunter was poor. This mission is pretty good, but many hunters still need to do a few more missions to save up the processing fees and daily needs. In the forge, Boss Chin stroked the lightning rat crystal jade provided by Li Chengen, with many words of praise in his mouth. Hey, lightning rat's crystal jade, can you still receive such a mission? Li Chengen said modestly, Master took care of me. Boss Chin waved his hand, his eyes full of disdain, why am I so humble? I've been working for so many years, can't I still see how these lightning rats died? That Ms. Kong's weapon is Night Rose which is made from the dark attribute pure blood dragon red halberd night hidden dragon. There is no fluctuation of dark energy in these lightning rat materials at all. It was the lady who killed them. Li Chengen was seen through by Boss Chin and was not embarrassed at all. The first key to being a social person is to have a thick skin. This is his foundation. Boss Chin gave Li Chengen a suggestion. The subsequent derivatives of the lightning taze word are quite good. The commander level lightning rat and the monarch level fray rat are both suitable candidates to enhance this sword. But I want to remind you that although this sword has some thunder properties, it is not obvious enough. The subsequent derivatives are also going to be light and sharp. You should not use it as an electric knife. Li Chengen quickly agreed. He didn't care about the increased lightning damage. He valued the sharpness of the lightning sword itself more. After Li Chengen paid the money, Boss Chin asked Li Chengen to keep the black iron knife, and then handed him that yellow blood set made by the yellow scale beast. The dragon blood factor concentration of this yellow scaled beast king is pretty good. The defense of this set of armor is even stronger, and it can compete with mid level and low grade leather armor. Before Li Chengen left, he said, It's not that Boss Chin is good at his craftsmanship. This is indeed the case. Most low level talismans only have one effect, which is not very obvious. The hunter's armor also focuses on increasing defense power. Additional effects will only be gained when the mid level talisman is replaced. This set of yellow blood armor can match the defensive power of mid level talismans, which is already impressive. If you later obtain the materials of the yellow scale dragon and strengthen it into a mid level armor, a new agility effect will be added to increase the speed of the wearer. It can be said that it is very suitable for users of light weapons. The only thing worth criticizing about this set of armor is that it doesn't look very friendly. It looks like a little yellow man with a lump of rice on his head. It's very ugly. If you want the equipment on Kong Siwei to be both practical and beautiful, you probably have to wait until you are an elite hunter to have the opportunity to build it. In the following days, Li Chengen worked hard to practice the technique of potential fusion space and the understanding of the immortal blade taught by Kong Siwei. Very rewarding. Although the movement skills did not meet the requirements, the space blur time was increased to 0.2 seconds, and the dodge time was longer, which greatly improved the survivability. The practice of the immortal blade is not as exaggerated as that of Kong Siwei. After all, it is someone else's inspiration, and it will take a long time for Li Chengen to turn it into his own use. However, the interception of momentum has been improved a lot. After the air blade explodes, the number of attacks Li Chengen needs to condense the yellow blade again is reduced by one third. It only takes 13 swords to condense the yellow blade again. The progress of Yao Yao and Mao Mao is also amazing. Although the realm has not changed, the skill proficiency has improved by leaps and bounds. Yao Yao's moonlight condensation has reached the dominant level, and she can condense a large ball of moonlight even at noon during the day. Afterwards, Li Chengen gradually taught Yao Yao slow healing and rapid growth. Li Chengen originally wanted Yao Yao to focus on rapid growth so that maybe the wooden puppet's proficiency could grow faster. But after witnessing Li Chengen's previous experience, the little guy decisively chose to focus on slow healing. This made Li Chengen feel moved and angry. Can I get some treatment? After experiencing the effect specifically, Li Chengen smells really good. Missing, so lacking. Slow healing corresponds to quick healing. Both are of the same level, both are mid-level skills, but they have different focuses. The effect of quick treatment focuses on rapid treatment of trauma. The proficiency of slow healing can have a very good effect on the treatment of internal injuries and hidden injuries after reaching the master level. This is very useful for people like Li Chengen who practice techniques. Every night he asks Yao Yao to use slow healing to clear away the fatigue of the next day. 
Since Yao Yao focuses on slow healing, the points for rapid growth have been missed, and she can only achieve mastery level. At present, I can't see any effect on wooden puppets, maybe it's because the proficiency is too low. Yao Yao doesn't want Mao Mao, it will take time, and she needs to use the moonlight to activate the waning moon mark to clear the influence of the hunting notes. It's a little slow to add points in northern skills, but the advantage is that both skills can be added to the perfect level in one day. In order to become a dominant player in the future, Yao Yao stopped cultivating Qingyu Linglu, and instead used wooden puppets to plant green weeds, and then let Mao Mao remove the weeds every other day. By the time Li Chang'an finishes his hard training during this period, the two skill stones, slow healing and rapid growth, will be almost exhausted. After that, Mao Mao asked Yao Yao to plant blue mist grass instead. It is foreseeable that the two skill stones, hidden breath and moonlight condensation, will also explode. Li Chengen saw the two little ones working in the yard and thought silently, maybe this is the correct way to open the wooden puppet. Time has come to the beginning of August, and Yao Yao's moonlight condensation, slow healing and rapid growth proficiency have reached a new height. Li Chengen also unlocked a new skill proficiency, domination level. Above the dominance level is the dominance level. The specific effect is to sublimate the effect of skills, and low-level skills can even exert the effects of high-level skills. For example, the therapeutic effect of the mid-level slow healing has already caught up with the quick healing of the same level as well as its own internal injury healing. Among the high-level skills that Li Chang'an has learned so far, in addition to the moon-based moonlight soothing and the water-based vitality nourishing, there is no high-level skill that can match the effect of the current slow healing. And moonlight soothing and vitality nourishing, these two top-level healing skills, are comparable to ordinary top-level healing skills. It is enough to see the terror of dominator level proficiency. Also under Mao Mao's unremitting efforts in weeding, the hidden breath and hidden technique skills have also reached the dominant level. Blue mist grass and white flower grass are both the same. In a deep resonance strongly requested by Mao Mao, these two skills were merged into a new skill that is more suitable for the Hellfire Dragon. It is also the first aura convergence skill of the Hell Flame Dragon Clan. Mao Mao has created history. High level skill, flame hidden technique, wraps the core of purgatory with the shadow of hell, thus achieving the effect of converging blood and realm. After seeing the skill introduction, Li Chengen understood why he had to have a long lasting deep resonance with himself before doing anything. As for the high level skill, flame hidden technique, Mao Mao was the first to create it. The moment this skill appeared, Blue Star's gift appeared again. Seven colors of life energy poured into Mao Mao's body, and Fire Hidden Technique, the Hell Flame Dragon's historic skill, unlocked a whole new realm. Li Chengen also learned about the proficiency above the Dominator level. Origin level. It means the beginning, it means the origin. According to Mao Mao's description, unless it dies, even if other Hell Flame Dragons learn this skill, their final proficiency will only reach Domination level. The only one in the universe belongs to Yes. Moreover, Mao Mao's aura was completely restrained, and she looked exactly like a kitten, with even the last scales disappearing. Suddenly Li Chengen thought of Yao Yao's moonlight condensation. Even if there are many skill stones for the two skills moonlight soothing and vitality nourishing. However, the mark in the thorn collection room is still gray, which means that it cannot continue to improve. The skill, Moonlight Condensation, is still on, and half of the mark has not been lit yet, but there are not enough skill stones to add more points. This means that the owner of the, Moonlight Condensation, skill has passed away and the throne is vacant. According to previous experience, 64, Moonlight Condensation, skill stones are needed to fill the mark. Realizing this, Li Chang'an immediately asked Yao Yao to continue planting blue mist grass and harvest the skill stone of Moonlight Condensation. He, Li Chang'an, wants the throne of this skill. It's early August, and Yao Yao's blue mist grass planting plan is still in progress. It is estimated that there are still 49 skill stones left to fill the mark. Thanks to the work of harvesting blue mist grass during this period, Mao Mao's level is about to break through to the realm of extraordinary three stars. Li Chang'an is still far away from the level of a level 3 beast master, but his mental power is about to break through again. According to the test, his mental power strength is already 51 talisman. He is a person at level 2, and his mental power has exceeded the level of a level 5 beast master. 
The duration of resonance with Mau Mau Yusho has reached 5 minutes, and he can now withstand 30% of the power of Mau Mau at the same level. This is all thanks to the endurance recovery properties provided by green mist grass and the mental power properties provided by blue mist grass. In order to prevent a breakthrough and bring burden to Li Chang'an, Mao Mao took another luxury and used all the life energy obtained for simulated skill training to improve skill proficiency. Life energy is an essential energy for every race's breakthrough. According to Mao Mao, this approach is considered a luxury even among its own kind. High effort, high return. Mao Mao's Hell Flame and Hell Flame Scar have both reached the proficiency level, and low level skills purgatory have also been upgraded to the proficiency level. Even Red Lotus Breath, a high level skill that has not been practiced much, has been slightly raised to the master level due to the increased proficiency of Hell Flame. From this, Li Chang'an is very sure that the core basic skill of Hell Flame Dragon is the low level skill Hell Flame. Similar to Yao Yao's Moonlight Condensation, Yao Yao's Moonlight Condensation skill is also released faster and faster due to the improvement of Moonlight Condensation proficiency. I haven't practiced much recently, and my proficiency has reached the master level, and I can shoot 8 mixed energy blades in less than 1 second. This is the benefit brought by breakthroughs in the basic skills of the core system. Although Mao Mao has not made a breakthrough in Realm, his strength has undergone earth-shaking changes compared to before. According to its own description, its current self can beat 10 of its previous selves. In addition to practicing sword skills and performing tasks, Li Chang'an spends most of his time meditating every day. One morning, he received a private message from Bai Wenshen. Bai Wenshen, old Li, what are you doing during the summer vacation? Why haven't I seen you in the Beast Taming Association? Beast Taming Association, if you can find me, I will be a ghost. Li Chang'an couldn't help but complain in his heart, yes. Counting the time, most of the people in the class had already obtained the official Beast Master qualifications in early August. During this period of time, I should be feeling fresh about taking on tasks from the Beast Mastering Association. Thinking about it this way, it is not difficult to understand Bai Wenshin's question. Oh, I mainly work in the Hunter Guild. Bai Wenshin. Hum, Lao Li, you actually went to the Hunter's Guild. I'm dying. Um, no, I mean, what about the Hunter's Guild? Li Chengin's mouth showed a hint of youthful vigor. He took out the yellow blood set and lightning sword from the space ring and placed it on the bed. I took a photo of Bai Wenshin and sent it to him. A man is a boy until he dies. Li Chengin, it's nothing special, but the benefits are good. Photo sent. Photo sent. Bai Wenshin. I'll go, he's so handsome. Can you let me touch him? I promise, I'll just touch him. As long as young people of this age see something new and unique, no matter whether it is ugly or not, just say it is special or not. Li Chengen, equipment is the hunter's glory. Bai Wenshin, no, we are all brothers, let me touch them. Li Chengen, I mean you have to pay more. The person on the other side was silent for a while, and there was no reply for a long time. Bai Wenshin, aren't all hunters good at making money? Why do you feel that your life is a little down and out? Li Chang'an, making money is making money, but it does not prevent us from being poor. Bai Wenshin, doubt, JPG. Li Chang'an, have you seen this handsome sword? The processing fee is an internal discount of 1.2 million. Bai Wenshin, I can't touch it. Excuse me, goodbye. After a while, news came from Bai Wenshin. Lao Li, aren't you short of money? I just got the news that you can sign up for the Goblet of Fire. Li Chang'an was confused for a moment, Goblet of Fire. Then Xiao Chang'an's memory suddenly emerged. The Goblet of Fire is a competition for new beast masters jointly organized by Tianhe Group, Hongyan City and Moss City. It is considered a semi-official and semi-private competition. Generally, the championship bonus of this competition is between 1 million and 2 million, which is a relatively friendly benefit for newcomers. But for him, Li Chang'an, Goblet of Fire. No, the bonus is not enough to fill my teeth, and it will waste my time for a week. Bai Wenshin, Big Brother. Bai Wenshin, this time is different. This time the Goblet of Fire has newcomers from at least half of the province participating. Not only Hongyan City and Qingmao City, but also other prefecture-level cities have also participated, including Tianung City, Fengyang City and Suihai City. 
five prefecture-level cities actually participated. There are only nine prefecture-level cities in Xi province, and five are here this time. Li Chengen, Tianhe Group has played a big role this time. Bai Wenshen, isn't that right? This time the third place bonus is 1 million, and the first place bonus is 5 million. Seeing the word 5 million, Li Chengen straightened his posture slightly in his chair. Bai Wenshen, not only that, the top three can enter the resource library provided by Tianhe Group and choose resources at will. The champion has three resources, the runner-up has two resources, and the third runner-up has one resource. Li Chengen's expression became more serious and he typed a few words quickly. Is there a resource selection list? Bai Wenshen sent a document. Li Chengen's eyes froze the moment they passed by the Red Lotus Stone. Red Lotus Stone is one of the rare ores that can assist Mao Mao in improving her talent. It can increase the power of Hell Flame and the additional success rate of Red Lotus Mark. At the Hunter Guild's logistics office, they do not sell, only exchange. Dongguang coins cannot be purchased, and you can only use Hunter Merit to exchange for 1,000 Merit coins. Li Chengen has only accumulated 80 meritorious deeds so far, and is still far away from 1,000 points. You must participate in this event, and you must at least win third place. Li Chengen, send me the registration address. Bai Wenshin, the boss is really a tough man. Li Chengen, stop talking nonsense and send one. Then Li Chengen took out a withered tree root, took a photo and sent it to Bai Wenshin. Bai Wenshin, what the hell, Aramugan? Lao Li, please sell it to me. The price is negotiable. Li Chengen, send the URL first. Bai Wenshin is very neat. The asterisk 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 asterisk. Li Chengen showed a satisfied smile after getting the registration address. The conversation he just had with Bai Wenshin was not because he couldn't find the registration address for Flame Forest. During this time, he was immersed in boring ascetic practices, mainly because he wanted to find someone to chat with. When Miaohua had something important to do recently and couldn't get through on her cell phone. And he doesn't have many friends, so Bai Wenshin is a good chat partner. Besides, this, barren tree root, was originally found by Yao Yao in the hunting ground and will be sent to the thorn bear in a few days. Li Chengen was a little embarrassed that Bai Wenshin could pay so proactively. Finally, Li Chengen sent a message, see you at Lao Wang's barbecue at 5.30 p.m. Bai Wenshin. Okay, JPG. Li Chengen put down his phone, turned on his computer, and entered the registration URL given by Bai Wenshin. This goblet of fire is indeed different. After opening the reward information, Li Chengen confirmed that what Bai Wenshin said was true, so he immediately signed up. Due to the relatively late arrival of the information, the goblet of fire will begin in three days. After signing up, Li Chengen called Yao Yao back who was planting grass in the yard and told the two little ones about the goblet of fire. This competition is very important. Not only is there a prize, but there is also the red lotus stone that you need, Mao Mao, and the black deer fruit that you need, Yao Yao. Li Chengen pointed to the resource list listed on the tablet, and Mao Mao and Yao Yao's eyes suddenly became intense. Regardless of Mao Mao's red lotus stone, the high-level resource Shuangkang fruit is very suitable for the current shake. Black deer fruit. After taking it, there is a high probability of improving the proficiency of wood skills. The degree of improvement is determined by the skill level. A black deer fruit, with better luck, can allow Yao Yao to upgrade her proficiency in the high-level skill of wood puppet to mastery level. When falling, it can improve the output efficiency of many Aoki puppets. With the black deer fruit, Yao Yao's moonlight condensation improvement plan can be much faster. Even though Mao Mao can immediately improve his proficiency in high-level skills, it is Mao Mao's breakthrough in the core racial skills that has led to breakthroughs in high-level skills. Moreover, Mao Mao has inherited memories, which include exercises similar to Red Lotus breathing. Secondly, Wood Puppet has wood-type skills. Yao Yao only has the core skills of the moon-type system and does not have the core skills of the wood-type. In terms of wood skills, they are inherently inferior to moon skills. Oh, by the way, I'm going to see Bai Wenshin in the afternoon and hand over the Araragi route to him. Then Yao Yao you can meet the thorn bear. Yao Yao's eyes lit up when she heard this.
She hadn't seen that poor guy for a long time. Guji, Cheng An, call me when the time comes. Mao Mao was not to be outdone, meow. I'm going to. Li Chengen narrowed his eyes, smiled broadly, and said, Okay, everyone goes. After practicing his sword skills in the yard, Li Chengen checked the time, took a shower, and went out to meet Bai Wenshen. Lao Wang Barbecue Restaurant, a 30 year old restaurant near Hongyan No. 1 Middle School, at this time in the afternoon, the aroma of barbecue has begun to permeate the air. At half past five, the barbecue restaurant had already begun to set up tables and chairs to receive some customers. It is precisely because this barbecue restaurant opens so early that it is very popular among students from Hongyan No. 1 Middle School after school in the afternoon. As soon as Li Chengen walked to the door of the store, he saw Bai Wenshen, who was wearing black short-sleeved shirts, already sitting on a chair, Wang Liao Zhao. Wearing black clothes in the dog days of summer, isn't it hot? Li Chengen pulled a white plastic chair and sat next to Bai Wenshen. Bai Wenshen curled his lips and said with a look of disdain, they are all beast masters and their resistance to temperature has increased a lot. The temperature of only 40 degrees Celsius is nothing. Li Chengen took away the ice air patch from Bai Wenshen's belly, which is a daily talisman used to release cold air close to the body. A low-level ice crystal can keep you cool for at least one summer. In contrast, there are heat patches used in winter. Next time, hide the ice cold stickers before filling the cup. AXW, where's that rammer? When it came to stocking up, Li Chengen summoned Yao Yao. As soon as Yao Yao came out, she looked around, looking for the thorn bear. Bai Wenshen glanced at the petite Yao Yao and complained feebly, Peng Peng has grown a lot bigger. I'm afraid I won't be able to sit here. Peng Peng was named by Bai Wenshen to the thorn bear. Why don't you pack it up and go back to my house for a drink? My mother happens to be at home too, and she wants to meet you too. Li Chengen, why do I feel like I'm going to meet the boyfriend of the girl's parent? Bai Wenshen shivered and said angrily, Gungungan, you are the one below. Hey, where is the one in your family? Wa has something important to do recently, and the phone can't get through. Oh, that means that squad leader Wen will not participate in the Goblet of Fire this time. This is great. Li Chengen, it's not appropriate to say this in front of a bamboo horse like me. After packing away from Lao Wang's barbecue restaurant, Li Chengen met his mother, Bai Churui, at Bai Wenshen's house. This is a typical strong woman. Although her appearance is not as good as that of Miu Qingqing and Kong Siwei, she has a sense of arrogance in her bones. However, when she met Li Chengen, Bai Churui restrained her arrogance a lot. She knew that Yao Yao was busy with planting matters recently, so she copied a copy of the planting notes of the Bai family ranch and gave it to him. Seeing Yao Yao's appearance as if she had received a treasure, Li Chengen knew that this gift was not light. After returning from Bai Wenshen's home, Li Chengen talked about the incident with his mother. Miu Qingqing just nodded and told Li Chengen not to pay too much attention. Time soon came to the eve of the Goblet of Fire. Yao Yao is still 18 short of 64 skill stones. In a few days, she can collect the number of skill stones needed to advance to the origin level. Because he had harvested too many blue mist grasses recently, his mental power skyrocketed, his eyebrows felt a little tingling, and his body felt hollowed out. Li Chengen had no choice but to take dragon bone calcium tablets and grade a nutritional bars every day, and then exercised like crazy. Use this to enhance physical fitness. Miu Qingqing was frightened by Li Chengen's unusual behavior. After asking, she found out the reason. It turned out that the mental strength was too strong, which caused the body to be a little overwhelmed. What a pleasant annoyance, Miu Qingqing complained, then went out and threw a memory crystal to Li Chengen when he came back. Ancient Whale Curse, a high-level mantra practice method, has the advantage that it can nourish the body with mental power, thereby increasing the speed of mantra practice. The disadvantage is that once the mental power cannot keep up, the speed of mantra practice will be greatly reduced. In addition, this memory crystal and its contents worth 300 million will be charged to your account. Li Chengen, I have just paid back 5 million, and now I have another 300 million on my back. At such a young age, the burden on my shoulders is quite heavy. After using the memory crystal, 
the ancient whale curse inside was burned into his mind, and he could not forget it under normal circumstances. Ancient whale curse also has a binding contract at the end, which states that you cannot teach this spell to others, otherwise you will suffer serious backlash from the contract. At the same time, he also understood why his parents were unwilling to let him come into contact with advanced cultivation methods so early. The cultivation effect of high-level spells is better, but the same cultivation conditions that need to be met are also more stringent. It is difficult for low-level beast masters to meet this requirement. Generally, only senior mid-level beast masters or high-level beast masters will consider practicing high-level magic. Just like the ancient whale curse, the beast master's beast master's space is required to be no less than 700 cubic meters, and his mental strength is one level higher than his own spell power level. 700 cubic meters of beast control space is not common among mid-level beast control masters. This value can only be possessed by geniuses in the intermediate level. As for the mental power requirements, just like Li Chengen is now a level 2 beast master. His mental power must be above 30 talisman before he can practice the ancient whale curse. And now Li Chengen's mental power is 53 talismans, and the beast control space is as high as 2000 cubic meters, which perfectly meets the training requirements of ancient whale curse. Li Chengen sat on the bed, following the visualization diagram of the memory crystal, and initially started to operate the ancient whale spell. In the space of his mind, an ancient whale swam under the starry night and made a distant whale call. A light blue water column spurted out from the whale's breathing hole. The water gradually merged from Li Chengen's eyebrows into his whole body and limbs, nourishing his body. The mental power and magic power in the brain space initially formed a cycle, which continuously increased the magic power and physical strength. After practicing once, Li Chengen felt that the stinging pain between his eyebrows had dissipated a lot. What a good thing. These 300 million are well spent. You don't have to worry about overflowing mental energy in the future. After digesting this surge of mental power, let Yao Yao plant a wave of blue mist grass to continue to speed up his cultivation. The next morning, Li Chengen and Bai Wenshen made an appointment to meet at the municipal arena in Hongyun City. This is also the Goblet of Fire selection venue in Hongyun City. After the top eight in Hongyun City are selected here, they will then go to Suihai City on the coast to compete with the top eight from other cities in the finals. Outside the Hongyun City arena, there was a huge crowd of people and it was very lively. In addition to the contestants, the street next door was already filled with various stalls. The aroma of the delicious food spread into the arena, and the excited spectators could only buy some of the extremely expensive popcorn in the arena. Because you can only buy this here, the arena does not allow shops to enter. There was a very long and spectacular queue at the entrance of the players. This was to confirm their identities and prevent someone from filling in for them later. By the time Li Chengen arrived, the queue at the door was already a hundred meters long. Yao Yao squatted beside Li Chengen's arrow and looked at the long dragon in shock, its ears like moonlight ribbons flashing. Guji, Guji, there are so many people. Are they all beast masters? Li Chengen held Yao Yao in his arms and said gently, yes. Meow, they are all noobs. Mao Mao, which shared Li Chengen's soul vision simultaneously, made its arrogant speech in the beast controlling space. Although this is indeed true, except for the mysterious Xiaobai who heard about Miao who is contract, Mao Mao has never seen any pet beast with his eyes. This is the aloofness from the ancient dragon species. Of course, except for Yao Yao, ancient dragon species also have to eat, drink and defecate. Having offended Yao Yao, the chief manager of the imperial kitchen, Mao Mao will probably be chewing the dust for a while. How could Mao Mao, who had been raised rich since childhood, become accustomed to eating volcanic rocks like the wild hellfire dragon. This is a shortcut boy wearing black short sleeves, in the middle of the team, waving his strong arms. Lao Li, here, I've given you a seat. Behind by, there is no Wen Miaohua, it's so nice. This time the goblet of fire is stable. Then, Li Chengen felt very at ease and jumped in line and stood in front of Bai Wenchen. Under the reflection of the sun, Bai Wenshin noticed that Li Chengen's skin could not be said to be snow white, but could only be said to be as white as a pretty face. Old Li, aren't you a hunter? You are exposed to the wind and sun every day, how come your skin is still so white? 
Bai Wenshen looked at his arms, which were darker than wheat, and then at Ji Chengen's skin that was shining in the sun. Fell into silence. Li Chengen replied nonchalantly, Isn't my initial pet beast a fire type? The abilities inherited during the awakening period make me extremely tolerant to temperature. So I don't usually feel too cold or too hot, so maybe that's why. Bai Wenshen took a breath of air, then uttered an ouch and covered his mouth. What's wrong? Li Chengen looked at Bai Wenshen behind him in confusion. I imitated the novel and sucked in the cold air, and then it irritated my gums. Li Chengen. This was the first time he had seen someone whose gums were sensitive due to the cold air in his mouth. Several sisters in the back couldn't help laughing when they heard Bai Wenshen's explanation. It's true that boys with a sense of humor are rare these days. Yao Yao couldn't see it, so she gathered a little moonlight and sent it into Bai Wenshen's mouth. Yuehua is originally a high concentration of alienated life energy. Under Yao Yao's control, the corrosiveness of the moon energy has been eliminated. Bai Wenshen's gum sensitivity disappeared immediately. Hey, it doesn't hurt anymore. Lao Li, your ability as a rabbit pet is so good. I didn't even notice what kind of animal it was after it evolved AIBG. Keep it secret. This sentence received a look of contempt from Bai Wenshen, while Yao Yao gave him a look and asked Li Chengen to turn around. Miss Yao Yao was so angry. The scene just now is enough to show Yao Yao's astonishing transformation in the moon system after she reached the master level in Moonlight Condensation. Maybe the super level skill Moon Drop that Mu Qingqing has been dreaming about will be mastered by Yao Yao in the near future. After waiting in line for about half an hour, Li Chengen and Bai Wenshen completed the verification of the information. This audition is more casual, and the contestants whose identities are verified first will compete first. Li Chengen and Bai Wenshen are number 212 and 213, and there are still 150 players ahead of them who have not yet competed. Come on, let's go to the auditorium and wait. There are 150 people, and it's still early. The city arena can hold 20 competitions at the same time. With low-level beast masters and rookies pecking each other, it will take a long time for 150 people to do so. When Li Chengen came to the auditorium, to his surprise, the audience here was mostly middle-aged people, but there were quite a few children. Li Chengen and Bai Wenshen found their seats. What made Li Chengen's mouth twitch again was that sitting next to him was Duan Bai, whom he had not seen for a long time. Brother Duan, why do you have time to watch the rookies pecking each other? Duan Bai was also very surprised to see Li Chengen and explained, My sister is a contestant, and I came to cheer her on. By the way, why do you have time to come here? Don't you usually take on missions and go to the training ground? Duan Bai recalled what his fellow hunters in the Hunter Guild said about Li Chengen, a maniac who practiced swordsmanship with great talent but also worked very hard. Li Chengen spread his hands, pointed to the golden cup image on the big screen, and said, To me, five million is not a small amount. Duan Bai nodded and said, that's right, the processing fee for low-level talismans is not cheap either. Then while chatting, Duan Bai saw the rewards of this competition and the list of Tianhe group resources provided by Li Chang'an. The pair of glasses the size of copper bells suddenly widened, with an expression that I really want. Why couldn't I have been born ten years later? Duan Ben beat his chest and cried out in pain, looking like he was hit. Bai Wenshin poked Li Chang'an with his elbow and asked, Old Li, are you hunters so, down to earth? Li Chengen said helplessly, Don't think of us as too sacred. We are just better than ordinary beast masters, have better equipment, and have more resources. The rest is no different from ordinary people. Bai Wenshen was so envious of Li Chengen's unabashed show off that his teeth were trembling with envy. This is already outrageous. Afterwards, Bai Wenshen also started chatting with Duan Bai, and the two of them unexpectedly got along well. After a while, brothers and sisters started calling. Then Duan Bai's sister Duan Shenyi also came. She is a petite girl, which is in sharp contrast to Duan Bai, who is huge and sturdy. Time flies, and it's time for the team of Li Chengen and Bai Wenshen to come on stage. Duan Bai encouraged the two of them. You two have to work hard. Li Chengen waved his hand, and Bai Wenshen went to their respective arenas. No, 212 Li Chengen versus no. 232 Lu Yang, get ready, start. After the referee gave the order, 
Li Chengen and Liu Yang on the opposite side released their respective beasts at the same time. Li Chengen is the medicine-making rabbit Yao Yao, and Liu Yang is the extraordinary one-star little wood spirit. The Kodama is a very weak wood-type beast before it evolves. Its main image is a tree stump with eyes. Sure enough, we cannot have too high expectations for the quality of our opponents in the qualifiers. Li Chengen's muttering was heard from the loudspeaker next to him. Liu Yang on the opposite side suddenly turned red and looked irritated. Duan Shenyi, who was in the audience, also looked up from the viewing screen. When Mu Li heard Li Chengen's words, he couldn't believe his ears. This brother's friend, who seems so gentle and polite, actually talks trash before the game. Liu Yang yelled, Little Wood Spirit, Fei Ye. A dozen light green leaves gathered in front of the Little Wood Spirit and shot towards Yao Yao. Yao Yao easily dodged all the energy flying leaves. Li Chengen reminded you at the right time, stop gently. The moonlight ears that originally emitted dark green light instantly dissipated their energy and instead condensed into a moonlight energy ball the size of a marble. This is an energy ball created through moonlight condensation. It is not an attack skill. It can only be said to be the ultimate control of moon energy. This energy ball hit the panicked little wood spirit at an extremely fast speed. Instant kill. Liu Yang on the opposite side still wanted to struggle, and shouted loudly, Little wood spirit, stand up, I believe you can do it. Li Chengen. In the end, the referee couldn't stand this guy and immediately announced. The game is over, number. 212 Li Chengen wins. Referee. How hard are you struggling against an extraordinary pet beast? The competition among low-level beastmasters is so monotonous, and there is no such thing as a rejuvenation roar. For an extraordinary pet beast, the energy reserve and physical strength are not enough, and the intimacy with the beast master is not enough for such a short time. How could a miracle happen? Once hit by an attack skill, there is a high probability that he will lie down. Duan Shenyi was stunned in his position. It turned out that what he said before the game was not trash talk. Wow, this is the first instant kill today. You must have come late today. This is not the first one, but the third one. It is indeed the third one, but it is even more outrageous than the first two. Indeed, even if you let go, it will be an instant kill. Hey, 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 is that called releasing water? That's releasing a whole sea. The audience in the auditorium was talking a lot, and Li Chengen's brilliant performance at the end simply blinded their eyes. Anyone with a discerning eye can see that the mysterious rabbit-like beast first dispersed its original attack and hastily rolled an energy ball. It was this inconspicuous energy ball that instantly killed the little wooden spirit on the opposite side. Li Chengen returned to his position, and he could clearly feel that the eyes around him were getting a little hotter. After a while, Bai Wenshen also came back. His opponent was entangled with thorns by thorn bear, sealing the victory. If the opponent hadn't insisted on saving face and forced the beast to hold on under the thorns for a few minutes, he might have come back faster than Li Chengen. As soon as Bai Wenshen came back, he sighed, I'll go, old Li. What kind of skill does Yao Yao have? I've never seen it before. Li Chengen responded lightly, it's not a skill, it's just a matter of controlling the energy of the moon to condense small balls and launch them. Yao Yao spends more time curing your toothache outside the arena than this. As soon as this statement came out, Bai Wenshen was also very surprised. Why did he feel that Lao Ji's cup-making ability was getting stronger and stronger? When he said this, he didn't feel anything unusual at first. An illusion, it must be an illusion. Anyway, this morning's game is almost over. How about we go out to find a place and have a meal? Bai Wenshen's proposal was approved by Duan Bai. He also felt hungry. If it weren't for waiting for Li Chengen and the two of them, he would have taken his sister out to visit the food court next door. The group of people came out of the arena in a hurry and came to the food court next to the arena. Yao Yao and Mao Mao tasted the human pursuit of delicious food for the first time. Miao, ah, Cheng An, what are these? There is obviously no energy, why does it taste so delicious? Guji, can this kind of seasoning also be put into spiritual food? Li Chengen thought for a while and replied in the soul communication. Spiritual food for humans can be kept, but many pet animals may not be accustomed to these tastes. If you want your pet beast to experience a similar feeling, Yao Yao, you may have to go to the Beast Control University to learn more. 
Yao Yao was thoughtful. In fact, Li Chengen was right. A lot of knowledge could not be taught by Mu Qingqing alone. It needed systematic basic teaching in universities. Suddenly, Yao Yao smelled a strong fragrance, which was very similar to the direction she had imagined before. Guji, Cheng An, what does that smell like? Li Chengen also smelled the smell that Yao Yao mentioned. He looked up, past the crowded crowd, and landed on a red shop. Five Fire Shop. Seeing the name, Li Chengen already knew the source of this fragrance. That should be a special pet animal making delicious food. Yao Yao was startled. What special pet beast has such harmonious power? Li Chengen smiled, touched Yao Yao who was a little shocked, and said, it's not about the strength of coordination, but the skill in cooking. After saying that, he took Yao Yao and walked towards the shop. Yao Yao tilted her head in confusion, her ears trembling slightly with the ribbon on her head, she looked very much looking forward to seeing this special pet beast. Li Chengen carried Yao Yao to the door of Wu Huo shop. Bai Wenchen, Duan Bai and others also came to the door of the shop amidst the exclamations of passers-by. Duan Bai moved his nose, feeling that he had smelled it somewhere before. He was a little surprised and asked, what is this fragrance? Li Chengen explained to Yao Yao, pet beasts contracted with humans do not only have to awaken their bloodline to evolve. In hundreds of years of development, people have discovered another special kind of evolution called humanistic evolution. After some pet beasts have been in contact with human civilization for a long time, they will be assimilated by civilization and derive similar characteristics. Mao Mao, who was lying in the beast controlling space, was surprised. This was a relatively rare evolution in its inherited memory, and there were relatively few records. At least this is because the civilization that masters this kind of evolution has a firm grasp on this knowledge. There are records because there are always some civilizations that are not strong enough and were destroyed by the Hell Flame Dragon, so naturally they learned the secrets. Yao Yao also understood and looked up at Ji Chengen who smiled first. Guji, there are humanistically evolved pet animals here. Li Chengen nodded, that's right, five fire shops should refer to the king level pet beast, five big spoon beasts. Duan Xinyi and Bai Wenshen were also shocked. King level. Duan Bai touched his head and suddenly realized, I remember, isn't this the president's pet beast? Now it was Li Chengen's turn to be surprised. What the hell, the president of the hunter guild is so poor that he wants his pet beast to open a shop to make money. Is this Ms. Vita's pet? Li Chengen asked. Duan Bai was very sure, it's definitely him. The five fire spoon beast likes places full of fireworks. The scale of this newcomer competition is several times larger than in previous years. The flow of people has also increased a lot, probably because they were attracted by the fireworks here to open a store. Of course, we don't rule out the possibility that the president is pushing the boat to make the five beasts come out to make money. Really. Duan Bai's uncertain tone in his last sentence made Li Chengen more sure of his guess. I heard from director Luo Hai that Ms. Vita was also a powerful hunter before, but due to some reasons, she finally chose to become the president of the Hunter Guild. Several people opened the door and went in, only to see an unexpected person. Will, President, Duan Bai was so frightened that he couldn't speak clearly. As soon as she entered, sitting behind the cashier was Ms. Vita holding a thin pipe. At this time, Ms. Vita was not wearing the previous uniform of the president. Instead, she wore a bright red skirt, with soft blue silk hair tied up high, and a hairpin to stabilize the hair, with some jade embellishments, giving her a sense of grace and wealth with a hint of beauty. President Vita took a puff of cigarette calmly, but Qingli's eyes fell on Li Chengen with some approval. I just heard what was said outside the door. Xiao Chengen is very knowledgeable, not bad. Then he stabbed Duan Ben's panicked expression with a stab in the eye, as for Duan Ben, it seems that he has been quite free recently and is concerned about my life. Upon hearing this, a large amount of cold sweat broke out on Duan Bai's forehead, yes, President, listen to my explanation, this, that just now. President Vita interrupted Duan Ben's feeble explanation and said, forget it, I won't argue with you today. This is your sister, she is pretty and looks nothing like you. The gloating smile on Duan Xinyi's face was a bit unbearable. If she looked like her brother, it would be troublesome. We are all guests. Sit down quickly. Ahuo can make you whatever you want to eat. President Vita asked everyone to sit down. Li Chengen then made Yao Yao's request. 
President Vita, can I let my pet beast observe the making process of the five fire spoon beast? President Vita looked at Yao Yao. Is she a medicine rabbit? It's not impossible. Yes, Ahuo will be very happy to be so highly regarded by the medicine rabbit clan. With Ms. Vita's permission, Yao Yao quickly ran to the kitchen, where a red pet wearing a white apron was waiting for her. This was the first time Bai Wenshin and Duan Shenyi heard Yao Yao's racial name. Duan Shenyi pulled Duan Ben's vest that was stretched out by her chest muscles. Asked in a low voice, Brother, what is the medicine rabbit? Bai Wenshin pricked up his ears quietly. He was also very curious, because Lao Li had always done a good job of keeping his pet beast's secret. Duan Bai was deeply impressed by the theory test during his student days, and spent the rest of his time focusing on information about his prey. And medicine rabbits are strictly controlled, so why do hunters need to hunt them? It's too late to protect them. Therefore, he also knew nothing about the potion rabbit. This, this, I don't know either. Seeing Duan Ben's hesitant appearance, President Vita sighed. The union should indeed strengthen the theoretical knowledge of hunters. Only the standard of freshmen is not enough, only the standard of undergraduate graduates is enough. President Vita acted as a knowledgeable elder at the right time. Let me explain. Anyway, you are not irrelevant, the hunter's family members and the Bai family's cubs. Bai Wenshin didn't expect that he would have his share. Let me go. I'm so proud today that I can be remembered by the president of the hunter guild. Zero. President Vita cleared her throat and explained. The medicine rabbits are a race strictly controlled by the Dongguang Kingdom, so most of the written records on the market do not contain records of this race. As for why, there is an inexplicable relationship between rare personnel, strong talents and abilities, and the myth of Dongguang Kingdom. That's enough. Any more questions? Except for Li Chang'an, everyone else shook their heads. Bai Wenshin asked Li Chang'an curiously, Old Li, how did Yao Yao evolve into a medicine rabbit? Li Chang'an stretched out his five fingers and smiled silently. Bai Wenshin was puzzled, what do you mean? Asking is prohibited. Li Chang'an shook his open fingers and said, the internal discount price is five million. Bai Wenshin, Duan brothers and sisters, oh oh. President Vita chuckled softly, this is more than five million. Director Li spent all his efforts to arrange the evolution ceremony, as well as many main materials purchased through his own authority. 5 million is only for you. For others, 50 billion may not be affordable. After all, it is a ritual that has evolved into a drug-free one. And little Chang'an, please don't underestimate Yao Yao's successful evolution. This means that there are a large number of rabbit beasts with the blood of the medicine rabbit, and it is possible to evolve into the medicine rabbit. Maybe in the future, because of this research, the control over rabbits that use medicine may be relaxed. Because of this matter, your father has been paid close attention to by the people above. Yao Yao's name has probably been recorded in the next edition of the high school textbook, and maybe your name will be on it too. After all, this is the first case of evolution. Li Chengen never imagined that one day he would not only be taken away by his parents, but also by a pet animal. Things like Ming Liu Qingxi actually entered his life because of Yao Yao's evolution. Others were stunned. They didn't expect such a small rabbit to have such great significance. Duan Bai was not a young man like Bai Wenshin. He also guessed that the medicine-making rabbit's ability was related to reconciliation. Because President Vita asked the medicine rabbit and her precious five fire spoon beast to learn. Duan Bai firmly kept this guess in his heart. He deeply realized that his biggest gain during this period was not the inscription-level sword. It was about the relationship with the fledgling hunter in front of him. Li Chang'an's future is bright. Inside the Hongyan City Research Institute, Li Mingxuan looked at the safe in front of him excitedly, his hands trembling. After so many years, I finally applied. My long-cherished wish, my research, and my children finally have a chance. A pair of heavily armed men in black were holding the safe and looking at Li Mingxuan with serious expressions. Professor Li, according to regulations, all your next actions will be witnessed by us until the end of the research project. M. After the leader, a big man in black, finished speaking, he stepped aside, and a young man wearing a dragon pattern sing yi and a woman in a black dress came out. Your Excellency Kanglong, Senior Sister Kong, let's get started. In the food court, Li Chengen and others finished lunch in the small shop, 
said thank you to President Vita, and immediately returned to the arena. All three of them were winners in the morning, so there was another game in the afternoon. This audition will last for two days to determine the top 50 contestants, and the top eight contestants will be determined on the third day. Li Chang'an's opponent in the afternoon was also a student from Hongyan Number. One middle school. She was a girl and a senior who had just graduated from high school. After she saw that her opponent was Li Chang'an, most of her fighting spirit immediately dissipated, and she had a look of despair on her face. After so many years in Hongyan Number. One middle school. Even the senior students have heard the bad reputation of both men and women. That kind of suppressive power is not comparable to that of a rookie who is not ranked among the top 100 in her grade. As expected, this senior's pet beast, the extraordinary two-star Qingshui giant, 157, was taken away by the extraordinary one-star Yao Yao 8 energy blades. Although the opponent's level is one star higher than Yao Yao's, his skill proficiency and racial potential are far behind. The mastery level double blades of the moon instantly killed the clear water giant on the spot. This time Yao Yao's outburst also let the audience know the full picture of Yao Yao's skills in the morning. It was indeed released into the sea this morning. What kind of skill is this? Why is it released so fast? In less than a second, it can release eight consecutive powerful attacks. A knowledgeable viewer explained. It should be a skill like moon blade, mixed with a rich wood energy zone. So this is a fusion skill. No, to be precise, it should be a skill with mixed energy, which is far from the fusion skill. Li Chengen's instant kill once again excited the audience. His handsome appearance and cute rabbit combination left a deep impression on the audience. It is worth mentioning that the thorn bear on the Baiwan mountainside is also showing great power. In addition to thorn entanglement, the thorn guard skill has also been exposed. Guardian of Thorns summons a Guardian Beast of Thorns, which can cooperate with the pet beast to fight. It seems that Bai Wenshan's opponents cannot be underestimated, which is a pity. Li Chengen observed a millisecond of silence for Bai Wenshan's opponent and then returned to the auditorium. Duan Xinyi had also returned. Unfortunately, she was unlucky this time. She met the top four seed player Qin Shangming, but his Thunder Dog ended the game on the spot. Speaking of the four major seed players, they are actually the young masters from the four major beast controlling families in Hongyan City, namely Qin, Ji, Wang, and Wei. By the way, the Bai family that Bai Wenshan belongs to does not belong to the four major families. The Bai family can be ranked high in Province Z. It is not at the same level as the four major families in Hongyan City. The strength of these four young masters is better than that of ordinary people, and their beast master levels are all at level 3, which is a dimensionality reducing blow to civilian beast masters. My goblet of fire journey ends here, but I will cheer for you and Bai Wenshan. Although Duan Xinyi was a little depressed, she still encouraged Li Chengen and the two. Duan Bai also looked pitiful, but who made his sister unlucky enough to meet Qin Shangming. After the afternoon game, the Duan brothers and sisters said goodbye to Li Chang'an. On the way back, Duan Xinyi asked her brother doubtfully, Brother, is that brother Li special? That you, who is about to break through to the elite hunter level, should be so interested in him. Duan Bai sighed, I am lucky. When Li Chang'an first came to the union, I was my guide and we formed a good relationship. Who am I, your brother? My parents are both king-level beast masters, and my hunter mentor is also a peerless warrior who is about to break through to become a master hunter. Duan Xinyi stuck out her tongue and was frightened by Li Chengen's family background. Some things cannot be said in front of outsiders. Duan Ben pointed out earnestly. Not only Li Chengen, but also Bai Wenshan is also a young man with a good background. You also heard what the president said, the Bai family, how many Bai families are there in Province Z? I won't let you follow the dragon and the phoenix, but I also hope that you can maintain a relationship with them that is neither far nor close, and it is best to become friends. Quote. Duan Xinyi angrily slapped her brother's strong back muscles and said, Are you so unsure of your sister? After all, I am also a beautiful girl. Duan Bai looked at Duan Xinyi from beginning to end. She is indeed a pretty girl on our street, but she is far from beautiful compared to others let alone Li Chengen's peerless girlfriend. As for the Bai family, I still know myself. Such a wealthy family is not something our family can afford. Duan Xinyi refused to admit defeat, is she really that beautiful? 
you can find out if you look up the word Wen Miaohua on the internet. This is outrageous. A 16-year-old girl actually has an online entry, and it is encrypted. As soon as Duan Shenyi heard the word encryption, she stopped talking. Without him, she couldn't afford to offend him. Dusk is approaching, and the unwilling sun is burning its last red anger in the horizon. When Li Chengen returned home, he heard Mu Qingqing yelling in the yard. Xiaolin asked Yao Yao to grow these broken grasses. This is too wasteful. If you need materials, you can tell me. Hearing this, Li Chengen hurried to the backyard without even changing his shoes, for fear that Mu Qingqing would pull out the blue mist grass. Show mercy. Mu Qingqing stopped her hand that was about to pull weeds and asked, What's the use of these blue summer grasses? What makes you so anxious? Li Chengen quickly explained. These blue mist grasses are specially planted for Yao Yao to practice her skills. They cannot be pulled out. Which skill should you practice? Wooden puppet. Li Chengen explained. No, it's the condensation of moonlight. The first time Mu Qingqing saw Yuehua condensation's training method was to plant blue mist grass, which was really new. Is that useful? Li Chengen replied seriously. It's very useful. Yao Yao is just one step away from being able to push the skill of Yuehua condensation to a whole new level. Seeing that her son was so solemn, Mu Qingqing put aside her doubts and said, If it is useful, there are a lot of blue mist grass in my tea garden. Do you want to try it? Li Chengen was stunned by Mu Qingqing's surprise. There was actually a large blue mist grass in her mother's tea garden. Please let me come. After dinner, Mu Qingqing drove Ji Chengen to her tea garden. The distribution of this tea garden is very strict, even harsh. Ordinary tea trees and Lingzi tea trees are clearly distinguished, with ordinary tea trees on the outside and Lingzi tea trees on the inside. Moreover, the tea trees in the inner circle are also of the same level and cannot be surpassed. The most central one is Mu Qingqing's initial pet beast, Ancestral Spirit Tree. Countless pale yellow light groups float among the green branches, like a neon lighthouse in the dark night. That is the, ancestral spirit tea, it produces, which can help the beast master to have an epiphany. This epiphany only takes effect once in a lifetime. Use this epiphany to develop the talent of the beast master. Relying on this, ancestral spirit tea, Mu Qingqing, an outsider, was able to gain a foothold in Hongyan city, and was still far ahead in the end. Is that your ancestral spirit tree, mom? Mu Qingqing raised her chest proudly and said, Yes, that's my initial beast controlling spirit. Li Chengen expressed his approval for the name Lingling. It seems that his family's habit of naming pet animals and their habit of repeating words is hereditary. The leaves of the ancestral spirit tree trembled one after another, and a breeze fell caressing Li Chengen's cheek, seeming to be happy for Ji Chengen's arrival. Ha, Lingling is welcoming you. Li Chengen gave the most sincere smile to the tall ancestral spirit tree. After that, Mu Qingqing led Li Chengen to the blue mist grassland she mentioned. A large piece of blue grass blades glowing with moonlight, blowing by the night breeze, emit a ringing laughter like bells. So beautiful. Unfortunately, Li Chengen came to weed today. Summoning Mao Mao, Li Chengen started the most brutal weeding with it. Mu Qingqing's mouth twitched when she saw this scene. This was one of her favorite places to relax, but she was being abused by her son. Alas, forget it, I will just plant a batch later. As the light in Li Chengen's eyes became stronger and stronger, the number of skill books required to reach the origin level was gradually approaching. There are still 10 coins left. 0.9 coins. 0.5 coins. 0.3 coins. 0.1 coin. Done. With the unremitting efforts of Li Chengen and Mao Mao, nearly 10 acres of blue mist grass were finally cultivated by them. Yao Yao squatted beside her mother, looking expectantly at the expressions of her master and companions. Li Chengen came back with a smile on his face and gave Sheik a thumbs up. Yao Yao suddenly jumped ten feet high in excitement, her ribbon ears emitting bursts of white light, as if she was playing the most exciting rock music. Mu Qingqing crossed her arms and asked, So, how should we train? If it was just for the blue mist grassland that Mrs. Huo Huo worked so hard to plant, I would have to teach this brat a lesson. Only then did Li Chengen notice the displeasure on his mother's face. It seemed that the weeding just now was indeed a bit rough. This is good to go. Li Chengen picked up Yao Yao and walked to the center of the blue mist grassland. 
At this time, the moonlight gathered around the blue mist grass had not yet dispersed. Yao Yao jumped down and held her breath in place. The moonlight condenses. All the remaining moonlight gathered on Yao Yao's body, and continued to pour into the waning moon mark on her forehead. This scene was also very incredible in Mu Qingqing's eyes. This was the first time she had seen the condensed moonlight causing such a big movement. Not only the remaining moonlight, but also the silver moon in the sky is also tirelessly transporting the moonlight. What she is talking about is the condensed moonlight. Are you sure it's not a moonlight venue? Not 4.6 pairs. Mu Qingqing immediately refuted her idea. There was no such movement in the moonlight venue. This is simply like the son of the moon god praying to his mother for blessing. Then Li Chengen turned his back to Mu Qingqing, Mao Mao returned to his three-meter tall body, and used flames to dispel the chill caused by the nearby moonlight. Do you want to increase the proficiency of moonlight condensation? Li Chengen passed the bloody thorn mark and determined in his heart, wish. Suddenly, there was a bang. A huge silver beam of light fell from the sky, completely covering Yao Yao. Looking at this pillar of light connecting heaven and earth, Mu Qingqing fell into a complete daze. This is not the sun of the moon god. This is simply the moon god himself coming to the world. The movement here was not only seen by many people in Hongyan city, but also more distant and ancient existences seemed to witness this scene that was enough to record the history of the void. At the Hongyan City Ecological Research Institute, a man in green named Kanlong looked at the beam of light with a look of amazement, his heart was throbbing, as if something was reminding him to protect that existence. Kong Siwei squinted her eyes, as if she was thinking about something, then looked at her junior brother who was studying at the desk, and finally gave up. He muttered words like, the baby is gone again. Deeper, far away from the blue star, a silver-white beast raised its head. Has a new divine choice been born? Chapter 51 Li Chengen was also very shocked when he looked at the beam of light in front of him. He did not expect that the skill moonlight condensation would make such a big noise if it reached the origin level. Protector Mao Mao had a matter-of-fact look on his face, and his deep voice echoed on the dense grass. Ho, ho ho. Of course, this is an abnormal phenomenon that will inevitably occur when the basic core skills of the race are raised to the highest level. Roar, in this alone, Yao Yao is not inferior to any ancient dragon, because it has already embarked on the road. Road, Li Chengen understood the original meaning of the word, but Mao Mao's words should mean more than that. Roar, yes, the path, just like when I gather all the talents of the Hell Flame Dragon or upgrade the Hell Flame to the origin level, I can also follow the path like Yao Yao. Ho ho, this road has had many names since ancient times, but we are used to calling it the original road, and some people call it the road of the innate gods. Li Chengen seemed to have heard a strange word. He didn't understand the term, original road. But as a person from the celestial dynasty in his previous life, he was still very familiar with the term innate gods. That means Yao Yao has become a god. Mao Mao shook his big head. Who? Number. I just became the gods chosen and have the qualifications to move towards that goal. While one person and one dragon were chatting, Yao Yao's vision reached its peak. The silver light pillar that blocked out the sky transformed into a huge throne, exuding an ancient and sacred aura. Li Chengen, who was closest, raised his head and could clearly see the various patterns carved on it. There is a gorgeous palace and a sacred silver tree. Beside the tree there are gods playing with the jade rabbit and moon toad. There is also a moon wheel engraved with magical patterns hanging high above the palace, shining in all directions. In the final vision of the throne, the moon wheel took the initiative to break free, and the silver throne suddenly turned into a phantom. The delicate moon wheel fell like a meteor, and stopped suddenly the moment it reached Yao Yao's body. Like a kind elder, he gently blends into the waning moon mark on Yao Yao's forehead. Without Li Chengen noticing, Mao Mao also had an incomplete mark on his forehead. The tendency of the silver throne to dissipate immediately stopped, leaving a secret energy zone. The dragon's tail behind Mao Mao shook a little more cheerfully. At that moment, the shadow of the throne also shook for a while, turned into a moonlight, and then merged into Yao Yao's body. At this point, all visions end. Li Chengen carefully picked up the sleeping Yao Yao and put her into the beast-controlling space. Mu Qingqing also rushed over at this time and asked worriedly, How is Yao Yao? Fortunately, I am digesting the benefits while sleeping. 
After hearing that Yao Yao was fine, Mu Qingqing also breathed a sigh of relief, then pointed at Li Chengen's nose and cursed. The general idea is that you brat, did you know that this scene would happen a long time ago, and you didn't even tell me? There was no time to take any safety measures, and she didn't mention bringing all the main pets with her. It can be regarded as a mother's concern for her son. However, Mu Qingqing quickly ran away with Li Chengen and took back the ancestral spirit tree. If the tea garden is destroyed, it will be destroyed, as long as people are okay. In the distant realm, a complicated look flashed in the eyes of the silver beast, which was half disbelief, one half resentment, and one half curiosity. Did you choose directly? I'm very curious about how outstanding that divine choice is, and it actually allowed you to make such a choice. Sooner or later she will come to me. Everything you do is meaningless. There was no answer in the surrounding void, only a silver moon hung high in the sky, and the cold moonlight seemed to laugh at the unwillingness of the alien beasts. Snort, the dark aura spread out from the body of the silver beast, covering the sky, leaving only darkness. There was also a murmur of ridicule in the darkness further away. A purple figure sat on a high tower, looking at the deduction in his hands in disbelief. Ha, huh, hum, this time, the moon god chosen was actually protected by disaster. Then her eyes passed through the deep darkness and went straight to the silver beast, with a hint of gloating in her eyes. As soon as she got home, Mu Qingqing activated the protective formation at home, and then kept making phone calls, as if she was ready. Li Chengin was strictly prohibited from leaving the room and stayed in the room. Fortunately, I didn't improve my skills at home without permission. Otherwise, without my mother's protection, the consequences would be disastrous. There was such a big commotion today, I'm afraid I won't be able to live in peace recently. And tomorrow's game, oh, let it go. Mao Mao, who had transformed into a kitten state, was very confused when she saw Li Chengin's sad face. Meow. Cheng An, why are you looking so sad? Oh, I was thinking that I might not be able to participate in tomorrow's game. Meow, are you afraid of being remembered? There was something strange in Li Chengen's heart. It seemed that Mao Mao's wisdom had grown a little faster recently. Some of the dark thoughts of human beings have been noticed. The furry cat paw patted Li Chengen's calf, and like a little adult, comforted, Meow. Meow, meow, meow. Stop talking about this, Chengen, I got something good, it can help you break through the level 3 beast control, division. Oh, breaking through to level 3 beastmaster, that's not bad, eh? Li Chengen suddenly realized the meaning of Mao's words, level 3 beastmaster. Mao Mao used her innocent tone and said in the soul communication, yes, during the god's choice before, I secretly threatened the throne, and then got a jade pearl. Mao Mao's paws spread out, revealing a transparent bead inside. In the bead, you can vaguely see the magnificent scenery of the flowing stars. Li Chengen cheered up and asked, What is Jade Chongzu? Mao Mao searched the memory in his mind, sorted out the words, and soul communicated, Jade Chongzu is a collection of life energy that is easy to refine. I have set a seal on this bead. If I only absorb a little at a time, it shouldn't burst Chang An. Hearing Mao Mao's thoughtful answer, Li Chengen burst into tears. It was the baby he hatched who felt most sorry for him. With Mao Mao's help, Li Chengen started the refining process of Jade Chongzu in the room. This jade bead is sealed with five layers of hellfire. After absorbing the first layer of energy, Li Chengen can break through to the level 3 beast master. The reason why Mao Mao didn't absorb this thing was because he was afraid of the size of Li Chengen's beast controlling space. If Li Chengen doesn't break through, it will be difficult for it to break through because it doesn't want to see Li Chengen get injured. With this jade bead, it is enough for Li Chengen to practice to level 4 Beast Master. Downstairs, Mu Qingqing was ready, and the spiritual power of a King Level Beast Master covered the entire community. At this time, the phone in the living room suddenly rang. Hey, Qingqing, I need to watch over my junior brother at a critical moment. There is someone to solve the problem. Don't worry. Hearing Kong Siwi's voice, Mu Qingqing breathed a sigh of relief and asked, Who is that person? It's me, Ms. Mu. Mu Qingqing was startled by a sudden voice outside the door. Kong Siwi on the other side of the phone also said in time, Oh, it looks like he is here. He is the old man who likes to pretend to be young. 
The owner of the voice outside the door chuckled and did not care about Kong Siwi's words. Ms. Mew, my name is Yu Chen. At the same time, Kong Siwi's voice also sounded, one of the eight pillar kingdoms of Dongguang Kingdom, Kang Long Wyan Dong Yu. Mew Qingqing opened her mouth slightly, not knowing what to say. How could their son bother a Bazuguo to take action? How virtuous and capable their family is. The Bazu Kingdom is the eight most powerful people in each generation of the Dongguang Kingdom, and they have the responsibility of guarding the eight directions. Each one of them is a powerful existence that surpasses the king-level beast master. Such a person actually condescended to wipe the butt of a minor child, which was beyond her expectation. But then she thought about it, and Mu Qingqing thought of her husband's recent research. Such a person would not leave his position easily. In other words, the husband's troubles are even greater, and he actually needs a Bazuguo to calm things down. For a moment, Mu Qingqing's mind was in a mess. Dong Yu Chen outside the door said with a gentle smile, Ms. Mu, please let me see how Ling is doing. Dong Yu Chen's voice seemed to have a soothing effect, and then Mu Qingqing remembered that she seemed to have left a Bazuguo outside the door to blow in the cold wind. The door was opened in a hurry, and a young man in Xingyi walked in. A golden dragon was embroidered with gold thread on the Xingyi, was vivid and unlike any ordinary thing. Mr. Dong, please sit down and have a cup of tea. Mu Qingqing quickly took out her collection of ancestral spirit tea and made some tea. Dong Yu Chen shook his clothes and sat upright on the sofa, letting Mu Qingqing busy, but his eyes remained in the direction of Li Chang'an's room. Suddenly, there was a riot of life energy in the void, with a faint tendency to become more and more intense. In Dong Yu Chen's eyes, a whirlpool had gradually formed in the void at this time, and directly under the whirlpool was the child that he could not see through. And an equally invisible one, a kitten. He commented in his heart, interesting kid. The fluctuations in life energy have become so great that Mu Qingqing can even detect them, and she has something on her mind at the moment. While I was on tenterhooks down there, my son was carelessly breaking through the realm upstairs. Dong Yu Chen burst out laughing and said, Ms. Mu, don't worry. If you are calm during big events, it means you have taught this child well. Mu Qingqing felt a lot better when she heard Dong Yu Chen's comfort. As for why Li Chang'an chose to break through at this time, it was because Mao Mao, who had a good ear, heard the phone call between Mu Qingqing and Kong Siwei. Miao, Chang'an, I heard the phone call, your master said everything is fine. Li Chang'an suppressed the boiling curse power in his body and said in surprise, Sister Kong solved such a big movement so quickly. Mao Mao was also a little unsure and told Li Chang'an what he had just heard. Kang Long Yin, Dong Yu Chen. Li Chang'an murmured. His heart was filled with disbelief that Bazuguo came to help him wipe his ass. This level of outrage is like a military region commander directly suppressing a region for the sake of a high school student. But considering that it was his master's guarantee, Li Chang'an no longer suppressed the spell power in his body and began to break through with all his strength. No matter what, break through. Mao Mao, you go back to the beast control space first. Mao Mao responded, took the initiative to turn into red light, and returned to the beast controlling space. Suddenly, the bloody thorn star formation distorted, releasing its hold on the beast controlling space. The expansion of the beast control space begins. The Lingtai is clear and bright, and the silver moon hangs high. This time he broke through the realm, and Li Chang'an discovered something was wrong. A silver moon appeared in his brain space, and the silver throne was gradually pressing on his contract formation. Every one of them relies on my soul contract method. The imprint of the hunting notebook is like this, and so is this silver throne. Li Chang'an couldn't help but feel a little more angry in his heart. The clay figurine was also angry and ignored his master again and again. I want my luggage to be replaced by Taozhong. The emotions came together and resonated with something in his body. His eyes were occupied by something, and the blood in his body began to roar with his heart. This state is not about seizing one's own body, but more like looking at oneself from a higher perspective. Li Chang'an was neither sad nor happy. He saw a seed between his eyebrows. The seed had already sprouted roots, extending from the center of his eyebrows to his hands. Suddenly, the realization came to my mind. This is my talent, dexterity. Try to get the roots deeper. As soon as this thought appeared, the aura in his heart kept rising like glazed red agate. 
The seed between the eyebrows absorbed this breath, and then grew a weak root, which penetrated deeply into the throne. The silver throne was extremely shaken, as if it was angry at Ji Chengen's transgression. Then a roar from eternity dispersed the aura fluctuations of the throne. It came from Mao Mao's contract position, and Li Chengen understood its meaning, which was roughly, if you don't want to die, just settle down. The silver throne froze in place, not daring to enter or retreat. Because at the moment when the roar came out, the bloody thorn star array seemed to be awakened. It stretched out a few thorn vines, trying not to hide its admiration for the silver throne. This scene seems to say again, what's going on, little brother? It's not your turn to be the boss here. The dilemma on the silver throne's side made the extraction of seeds much smoother. The golden thread spreading from the root system of the seeds grew again, gradually expanding from the hands to the upper body. The heart located in the chest also began to swallow the breath fed back by the golden thread. Just as the golden thread was about to enter the lower body, a mournful cry came from the silver throne. Li Chengen subconsciously stopped sucking, and the seeds retracted their roots. A feeling of gratitude came from the silver throne, and then he fell directly into Yao Yao's contract position without any hesitation. After Yao Yao, who was sleeping in the beast controlling space, was integrated into the silver throne, the energy accumulated in her body was being digested at an alarming speed. It turns into a mysterious power that transforms Yao Yao's body and soul. It's time to break through. Li Chengen, who was in a special state, instinctively thought of this, and the space he released to control the beast began to expand. A large amount of void energy mixed with life energy began to pour into his body. Originally, this situation was extremely dangerous, but after the energy was purified by the moonlight, the thorn star array and a thin layer of flame become extremely pure. 2,300 cubic meters, 3,000 cubic meters. It will not stop until it reaches 4,000 cubic meters. At this time, the roots of the eyebrow seeds shot out a silver moonlight and merged into the beast controlling space, causing the beast controlling space that had just stopped to expand again. 5000. A third black crack appeared on the stars. Li Chengen suddenly broke free from the state of being neither sad nor happy, and almost cursed. 5000 cubic meters. He wants to save up his magic power until the year of the monkey and the month of the horse. Despair. Then something happened that made Comrade Li even more desperate. After receiving feedback from Li Chengen's breakthrough in beast control level, Mao Mao and Yao Yao also started their own breakthroughs. Mao Mao took the lead and broke through the extraordinary three-star threshold very easily. The huge mantra feedback made up for nearly 1,000 cubic meters of Li Chengen's newly vacated 3,000 cubic meters of space. Under the gentle burning of the hell flame, his body's intensity soared. Li Chengen estimates that his strength is close to that of a swordsman of the same level. Note that the same level here refers to a swordsman with the same talent. Compared with the physical fitness of ordinary swordsmen, Li Chengen surpassed it from the beginning. Then came Yao Yao's breakthrough process, which was as smooth as moonlight and flowing water, but it took a long time. The feedback magic power is not much, about one-fifth of Mao Mao, but it is already a significant improvement compared to before. Then Li Chengen's mental power started to jump again, jumping directly from 53 characters to 63 characters, and it was still growing. Finally, it stopped urgently at the 69 mark. The remaining mental power was transformed into a moonlight mark by an invisible force and integrated into Yao Yao's body. Seeing that his mental power had stopped at 69, Li Chengen's hanging heart finally relaxed. Once the 70 talisman is exceeded, it will be the realm of high-level beast masters, and it will gradually become an inhuman realm. His small body would definitely be overwhelmed by this powerful mental force. As for the last force, it should be the talent seed I saw before. This moonlight mark transformed from mental power was exchanged for a skill from Yao Yao. Rapid growth. Li Chengen frowned, why is this skill? Just when he was puzzled, this skill was quickly transformed into something beyond recognition. Strong roots. This skill turns out to be a psychic ability. Li Chengen was so shocked that his eyes almost popped out. The wood type changed into the psychic type on the spot. Are all psychic talents so illegal? This ability is different from the original rapid growth. It's a passive ability. Whenever any of Li Chengen's attributes exceeds his tolerance, the strong roots will absorb the power beyond the threshold. 
This in turn promotes the growth of innate abilities. Not only ingenuity, but depending on the situation, Heart of Ancient Dragon will also be fed back. Two blooms. At this time, Li Chengen was a little confused about his body, and neither one nor two seemed to be under his control. Whether it's the contract formation or the talent you've awakened, they all seem to have their own little thoughts. Miao, Cheng An, so hungry. Degree. Mao Mao was so hungry that she was forced to transform into a kitten in the beast controlling space. Yao Yao almost woke up, the full moon mark between her eyebrows disappeared, and her red eyes turned silver like moonlight. But all the same, the two little ones were starving. This unexpected situation made Li Chengen temporarily forget about the troubles of bending his body. Instead, he took out all the food he usually stored for Mao Mao and Yao Yao to eat. I started making pet animal spiritual food that I had not made for a long time. What surprised him was that even though it was an intermediate spiritual food set meal that he had not used a few times, he made it unexpectedly smoothly this time. And he is becoming more and more proficient, almost catching up with Yao Yao's level. Yao Yao was greatly shocked by this scene. Guji, is Cheng An a monster? Meow, chewing sound, meow. This is Cheng An's outrageous talent, he is worthy of it. Yao Yao cheered herself up while eating. Come on, you can do it, I am Miss Yao Yao. While Li Chengen was cooking for the two little ones, he assigned himself the newly born first contract position of Xinxianxiang. You won't know if you don't look at it, but you will be shocked when you look at it. How could it be so outrageous that even the objects of the contract are restricted? This contract position is very special. It was born under the guidance of the Silver Throne and many powers. Therefore, Pet beasts whose grades do not reach Yao Yao's level cannot be contracted by Li Chengen. That is the God's Chosen. Only those who are also God's Chosen, or whose personality surpasses the God's Chosen, can be contracted by Li Chengen. In other words, his third contract position will be vacant for a long time in the future. Authors P.S. I will soon have a third favorite. It is not until he reaches level 4 as a beast master and a new contract position is obtained that he can contract with ordinary pet beasts. However, Li Chengen's eyes were full of motivation, but this time it was different. Although the two major talents have not reached the point of qualitative change this time, they have been greatly strengthened. His cultivation talent has been greatly improved, coupled with the current ancient whale curse technique training speed that is maxed out. Half a year, only half a year. He can practice independently, fill up the 1,500 cubic meters of mantra space, and advance to level 4 Beast Master. After finishing the preliminary cooking for the two little ones, Li Chengen took time to check the soul contract and see the changes in their respective panels. The first is Yao Yao who has changed the most. Name, Yao Yao. Race, Poison Rabbit. Attributes, Moon, Wood. Level, Extraordinary Two Stars. Potential, King is inferior. Innate abilities. Moonlight throne, herb hammer. Low level skill. Moonlight condensation, origin level. Intermediate skills. Moonlight healing, perfect level, moon double blades, domination level, moonlight tide, proficient level, green grass blessing, mastery level. High level skills. Wooden puppet, master level, moonlight shine, contact level. Condition. Battered and hungry. It seems that there is no change, but in fact Yao Yao has undergone a qualitative transformation. It can be seen from the question mark in the race column that Yao Yao is a brand new species with the appearance of a medicine rabbit. Moreover, the potential has also been broken through, crossing the threshold of the king level, so that when facing other king level beasts in the future, they will no longer be suppressed. The second is the amazing change in the moon talent. Moonlight Throne is not only Yao Yao's talent, but also the name of the Silver Throne. Moonlight Throne improve lunar affinity by 100%, increase the power and effect of lunar skills by 100%, and all lunar units whose ranks are lower than God's choice will unconditionally suppress half of their strength. This talent is simple and overbearing. It passively improves the talent, suppresses good money and good all lower level enemies of the same type, and sets a double standard. It is deeply recognized by Li Chengen's sixth brother. In terms of skills, the low-level skill Rapid Growth disappeared and was replaced by the mid-level skill Moonlight Tide. It has the same effect as Rapid Growth but the effect is stronger. When used under a Moonlit Knight, the effect is doubled. Slow Healing also has the same treatment as Rapid Growth. 
Not only the skill attributes have changed, but the proficiency has also been raised to the perfect level. Aside from the more effective healing effects, moonlight healing can also cure some difficult and complicated diseases. There isn't much that can be cured, but at least when Li Chengen gets old, he doesn't have to worry about problems like rheumatic bone disease. From this point alone, we can see that Yao Yao has a high probability of mastering the skill Moon Drops in the future. There is one more high-level skill, Moonlight Sparkle, and the effect is very simple. It can dispel abnormal conditions of high level and below. It is an extremely rare group purification skill. Coupled with Moonlight Healing, Li Chengen no longer has to worry about poisoning or wound infection in the hunting ground. As for this final state, Li Chengen was puzzled. Eaten under shock, the essence of life has been transformed, how come Yao Yao still looks like she was hit? Hasn't it become more beautiful? Mao Mao, the most sober-minded person in the room, chewed the lava set meal in his mouth with helplessness in his eyes. How could Chang An, a steely old straight man, understand Yao Yao, a young girl's enterprising mind? I don't know how the owner of that white guy fell in love with Chang An. Mao Mao's changes are not big, there are no new skills, and there is no change in proficiency. It is just a simple improvement in strength. I can probably beat Mao Mao from 10 or 3 hours ago. Now is not the time for it to transform. Li Chengen has an intuition that when Mao Mao reaches the elite level, it will give him a big surprise. When Li Chengen finished, Dong Yu Chen said to Mu Qingqing at the right time, it seems that your child has finished the promotion. Mu Qingqing, who was sitting upright next to her, immediately stood up and shouted upstairs, Xiao An, come down here, there are guests coming. Li Chengen heard his mother's call and put everything into the beast controlling space. Thanks to that moonlight, Li Chengen's current beast control space is not only larger, but can also hold things. Of course, apart from the contracted pet beasts, they cannot pretend to be living creatures for the time being. Mao Mao and Yao Yao understood the situation and returned to the beast controlling space to eat and replenish the energy gap. After packing everything, Li Chengen came downstairs and his eyes unconsciously fell on the man in Xingyi in the living room. This man has a unique magic power that makes people calm down inadvertently by his vast aura. Li Chengen said respectfully, Hello, Senior Dong. Dong Yu Chen put down his teacup and said cheerfully, Oh. My little friend already knows my identity. The boy's ears are sharper and he heard the call between Master and Mu Qingqing. Mu Qingqing pursed her lips and remained silent. This was beyond the scope of her good ears. She remembered that Li Chengen's room had been equipped with soundproof panels. Dong Yu Chen stretched out his hand to signal Li Chengen to sit down. Straight to the point, I have a request. Li Chengen wisely summoned Yao Yao and held her in his arms. Dong Yu Chen looked at Yao Yao in surprise, shook his head and said, That's not what I want to say. I want to ask my friend to go somewhere for me. Ah, not Yao Yao. Good guy. Ji Chengen realized that he was judging the heart of a gentleman with the heart of a villain. Senior Dong, please speak. I want my little friend to go to the Dragon Palace. Li Chengen looked stunned, that's it. Mu Qingqing's face changed wildly. She wanted to say something, but she stopped talking. Dong Yu Chen continued. I have a quota in my hand to go to the Dragon Palace to contract a divine dragon cub. It coincides with my breakthrough, so I would like to ask my friend to do it for me. 150. It turned out that he was looking for me to contract a pet beast. Is there a time limit? It's best to leave in October this year. A look of helplessness appeared on Li Chengen's face, and he said, that boy has let the senior down. I can't fulfill this request. Mu Qingqing's eyes were crazy and she signaled Li Chengen to agree, but unfortunately Li Chengen's eyes were wandering and he pretended not to see anything. It was the first time that Dong Yu Chen saw such a straightforward refusal, and his mental power sensed that Li Chengen did not have that kind of coquettish emotion. This is a divine dragon cub. Even pure blood dragons don't want it. The calmness on Dong Yu Chen's face gradually gave way to surprise. Today's young people really have distinctive personalities. He asked curiously, Can I know the reason? Li Chengen knew from Kong Siwei that powerful people above the king level could directly see through the minds of humans below the king level beast master. There is no use lying. The life gap between the two types of people is too big. Therefore, Li Chengen answered honestly, my third contract position has changed, and there are many restrictions. 
The cubs of Dragon Palace may not be able to meet this requirement. Mu Qingqing's pretty face has turned completely pale. It's over, it's over. How could Xiao and lie in front of Bazuguo? Dong Yuchen's gentle temperament suddenly became as deep and thick as the deep sea. Very restrictive, Li Chengen said with a wry smile, there are restrictions on grade. Grade, Dong Yuchen chewed on the meaning of these two words and looked at Li Chengen deeply. It returned to its original gentle appearance, but there was a trace of decadence in the spring breeze. As a chance of friendship, I would like to give you a kind suggestion. It is best to reserve this contract position for the pet beast with the greatest potential. This was the first time Li Chengen heard such a suggestion, so he asked, is there anything special about this contract position? Dong Yuchen spoke concisely and to the point, and slowly spoke out three words, carrying capacity. After saying that, he fell into silence and closed his eyes. Carrying capacity, is there any difference between the strength and weakness of the contract position? Don't they all look the same? Don't the Hell Flame Dragon and the Twin Leaf Rabbit have the same contract? AIDB Li Chengen was puzzled and asked Mao Mao, but he didn't get any information. After all, even Ancient Dragon knew very little about Blue Star's Beastmasters. Dong Yuchen's silence lasted for a while, and he asked again, how long will it take for Xiaofa to break through to the level 4 Beastmaster? Li Chengen answered honestly, at least half a year. Half a year, according to what I just saw and heard, my friend, your spell cultivation speed ranks among the top 10 among the young people of this generation in Dongguang Kingdom. It's just to break through to the intermediate level of beast control. Why does it take half a year? It's okay not to mention it. When I mention this, Li Chengen puts on a mask of pain on his face, which is particularly vivid. My beast control space is a bit large. How big is it? Maybe I can help. Li Chengen stretched out five fingers towards Dong Yuchen. 500, it's 5,000 cubic meters. Hearing this number, Dong Yuchen's hand holding the teacup trembled and he cleared the desolation in his throat. Said, my little friend, this talent is unparalleled in the world. According to my knowledge, in the ranking of level 3 beast masters in the beast control space in history, I am afraid that only the great elder can be slightly better. Li Chengen was even more shocked, what? Is there anyone who is in jail? Um, no, a more perverted beast master than me. He is also the great elder, the boss of the Dongguang Kingdom Presbyterian Church. With such a high status, his martial virtue is still so abundant. Dong Yuchen drank all the tea in the cup and left a crystal clear crystal on the coffee table. Alas, we passed by each other again, and we couldn't help but say nothing. This old man, who looked young but was actually Li Chengen's grandfather, left with a confused word. Mu Qingqing looked shocked, she was still immersed in the conversation between her son and Dong Yuchen. The information revealed was too shocking and she was a little overwhelmed. Son, what you just said are true. Can I lie in front of Senior Dong? Is your contract position really limited? The boss is restricted. Unless it is a pet beast of the same level as Mao Mao, there is basically no chance. Then the beast control space is also 5,000 cubic meters. Affected by Yao Yao's beam of light, the space changed. Li Chengen lied without hesitation in front of Mu Qingqing. Anyway, Dong Yuchen had gone far away, and Nima couldn't tell. So I put all the matters regarding the beast control space on Yao Yao. The mother and son fell into a brief silence. Mu Qingqing left the complete life crystal to Li Chengen, said, get some rest early, and returned to her room. Li Chengen picked up the crystal curiously. This was his first time touching a complete life crystal. Just by holding it in your hand, you can feel the majestic vitality contained in it. At this stage, with the assistance of Jade Chongzu, the help of the life crystal is not needed for the time being. When he breaks through the level 5 Beast Master and level 5 Beast Master daily training, he can use such life crystals. Mr. Dong is really an honest man. When things didn't work out, he left a big gift for him. The next morning, Li Chengen had breakfast, said goodbye to his mother, and went to the place agreed with Bai Wenchen. As soon as we met, we heard his excited voice. Lao Li, did you see it last night? That spectacular beam of light. Li Chengen secretly said. Not only did I see it, I was also there. Bai Wenchen's face was full of longing. 
It is said that it is the energy fluctuation caused by the breakthrough of Senior Dong Yuchen's pet beast, Kang Long Yin. Oh my god, just the leaked energy is enough to shake the entire Hongyan city. What kind of realm is this? Li Chengen lowered his head, knowing clearly in his eyes that the emotional old man was using this reason to excuse himself. For his level, this explanation is quite reasonable. Anyway, there are no beast masters of this level in Hongyan City, and no one can refute the old man's words. If you have any opinions, feel free to mention them in person. Bai Wenshen was still, getting excited, at the same place, and Li Chang'an's mouth twitched, so he left the delusional young man behind and went to the arena on his own. Today is no better than yesterday. His matches are very high. He has to enter the venue early, otherwise it is easy to miss the match time. Bai Wenshin reacted quickly, shouted, wait for me, and caught up with him. At the same time, the matter of the light pillar gradually fermented. Most people believed Dong Yuchen's words, and a few people with ulterior motives had turned their attention to the Li family. Boss, I found out that the initial location of the beam of light is in the tea garden of the Chang'an Tea House. A cold snort came from the darkness, Chang'an Tea House. I remember it was opened by Li Mingxuan's wife, and it turned out to be Ji Ming who was up to something. It seems that his research has really reached a critical juncture. They have all tried to divert their attention. The Immortal Blade and Kanlong Yin have both arrived. Okay. By the way, boss, Li Mingxuan's son has a competition today. Add some more congestion. Okay, boss, notice it further, all members should be prepared for war. Next we have to fight a tough battle with the Hongyan Ecological Research Institute. Li Chengen had no idea that he had tricked Comrade Li, and he was still a little angry. This morning's opponent is a member of the Qin family. Although Qin Guang is not as good as Qin Shangming, he is also a level 2 beast master. His pet beast is a transcendent 2-star thunderbird. The first thing Qin Guang said when he came up was to mock Li Chengen, that was all. With a combined mental age of only 40 years, Li Chengen would not care about this kind of provocation. The key is that this guy got the relationship between him and Wen Miaohua from somewhere. My mouth smells bad and I smell Miaohua. I heard that your girlfriend is quite beautiful. I like this kind of chick best. After the game, ha ha ha. I will let you watch and watch. Li Chengen's eyes suddenly sharpened, and he sentenced this arrogant young man to death in his heart. If you can't kill today, it doesn't mean you won't be able to kill in the future. He didn't believe it. This kid would never enter the hunting ground again. Game start. Qin Guang released the Thunderbird, and Li Chengen also released Yao Yao, but he said something before taking action. As soon as the Thunderbird came on stage, it opened its mouth to attack Yao Yao just like its owner. No need to show mercy, just cripple him. Yao Yao's quiet eyes suddenly became extremely sharp, and she could feel Li Chengen's anger. Although I don't know why, Li Chengen, who has always been good-tempered, became so angry. Just because of this, Yao Yao would not make it easy for her opponent. Qin Guangda waved his hand and shouted to the Thunderbird, use lightning strike. The blue wings of the Thunderbird gather thunder and lightning before it can be released. When he came out, ten dark green energy blades appeared in front of him. Qin Guangda was shocked, it was so fast. It was too late to hide. But he quickly calmed down and comforted himself. The faster a skill is released, the weaker its power will be. Then the Thunderbird's shrill voice completely shattered Qin Guang's illusions, and the Thunderbird fell miserably on the field. Although the wings have not been cut off, the bones and tendons between them have been broken into several pieces. Yao Yao's rich moon energy still remains on it, gradually eroding the vitality of Thunderbird. Without the king's high-level healing pet to treat it with top-level purification skills, this Thunderbird would not survive tomorrow. Instant kill. See you again in seconds. This is Li Chang'an's third consecutive instant kill since his debut. Qin Guang looked at his pet beast blankly, and suddenly shouted, Impossible, absolutely impossible. He cheated, no, he also made a sneak attack. Faced with Qin Guang's unreasonable troubles, even the referee couldn't stand it and complained, It's a shame to have a sneak attack. You are the one who gave the order first. The audience in the auditorium also booed accusingly, making Qin Guang's face turn blue and white. In the end, the young man was forced to admit defeat and step down, not forgetting to threaten Li Chengen before leaving.
Just wait for me. Li Chengin has an expressionless face. Don't wait, if you can survive this year, he will twist off your head and play it as a ball for you. The miserable appearance of the Thunderbirds made many players who planned to talk trash before the game restrain their enthusiasm. Trash talking is good, but it's also risky. That afternoon, all players from the Qin family announced their withdrawal from the competition, including the seated player Qin Shangming. According to people familiar with the matter, a talented person visited the Qin family in the afternoon of the game. It is said that the Qin family is now trapped in a world of ice and snow. When Li Chengen found out about this, he silently mourned for Qin Guang for 0.01 nanosecond, hoping that this guy would survive until he found him. In Hongyun City, the Qin family, there was a strange sight of flying snow in June. The Qin family's C suppressing nail, the throne level beast master, Qin Chengji, was so angry that he was shaking all over in front of the Qin family's ancestral temple. Although there was also the factor of being frozen, the more important thing was that there was a whole family kneeling in front of them. The person in the middle is Qin Guang, who made a lot of nonsense before. Qin Chengji pointed at Qin Guang, suppressed the anger in his chest, pointed at Qin Guang and said, Okay, I didn't expect that my Qin family would produce such an extraordinary talent. How dare you let Bai Lao's disciple guard the gate outside, and also want to get involved with the disciples of the Bazu kingdom. Okay, you are much stronger than Tian. Qin Guang wiped his nose that was frozen into icicles, knelt forward and tried to pull Qin Chengji's pants, but the old man avoided him with disgust. Ancestor, please listen to my explanation. I. Qin Chengji waved his sleeves, fan Qin Guang ten meters away, and shouted, Get out! The earthquake caused the surrounding trees to drop snowflakes one after another, spreading white all over the ground. Since then, Qin Guang's entire lineage has been removed from the Qin family tree and driven out of the Qin family. Qin Guang, who was kicked out of the Qin family, felt hatred in his heart and regretted accepting the money in the first place. He didn't expect that mud-legged guy to have such a background. Qin Chengji said to Qin Mu, the current head of the Qin family, calculate all the tea industry in the family and give it to Mrs. Li. In addition, give half of the resources of Mingli Mountain to the Wen family's Baimiao group. Qin Mu lowered his eyebrows and said yes, then went down. His eyebrows were full of unwillingness, but the situation was stronger than the others, and the Qin family had to submit to the majesty of Zhu Guo. What's more important is that this time Zhu Guo still had his reasons first, because Qin Guang really activated some relations between the Qin family after the game. It doesn't matter if you go looking for Li Chengen's bad luck. The elders on both sides will not go to war because of the grudges of the younger generation. But Qin Guang still kidnapped Wen Miaohua, and tied him up in front of Zhu Guo. This was like hanging an old man. Court death, Qin Chengji sighed deeply, looking at the snowflakes floating in the air, the stagnation in his heart turned into a ball of blood and spurted out. Blossoming red plum blossoms bloomed on the snow. Half of the Qin family's century-old foundation was lost like this, and Qin Chengji closed his eyes in pain. Not to mention Zhu Guo, even the Qin family couldn't afford to offend Li Chengen's master Kong Siwei. The Heavenly King level was a crushing match against the throne level, not to mention that Kong Siwei was still an elite hunter. Even if the Qin family bets all its foundation, it can't be worth a casual blow from the opponent. Before the Goblet of Fire conference ended, the Qin family announced the news of the 20-year seal of the family. At the Hongyun City Ecological Research Institute, a man in black with a python pattern said to Dong Yu Chen, Master Dong, I found out that the Qin family member does have contacts with some criminals. Dong Yu Chen looked at the report in his hand, snorted coldly, waved his hand and asked the man in black to leave. The scum in these dark corners are still so wanton, but it's getting faster, it's getting faster. On the other side, Li Chengen's afternoon match went very smoothly, and the quality of his opponent's players has obviously improved a lot. The two sides completed their confrontation with France in a friendly atmosphere. When they returned home, neither Mu Qingqing nor Li Mingxuan returned home. Li Chengen found messages from his parents on the landline at home. They are not going home today. So Li Chengen brought a self-heating pot back to the room to start his idea. He entered a meditative state and focused on the half of the hunting notes imprinted on the contract formation. Previously, because of Mu Qingqing's presence and Dong Yuchen's intimidation, 
Li Chengen did not dare to operate the hunting notes for fear of being exposed. Now that there is no one around, and Yao Yao's skill improvement plan has come to an end, it is time to develop the third function of hunting notes. Chaotic blood feast gluttonously eat all inedible things, return to the origin. Li Chengen's mind was focused on the inedible object. The previous effect was to convert life energy that could not be converted into attribute values. Absorbed by fur. Now Li Chengen wants to test whether this ability can have an effect on these useless skill stones. Is it possible to return these skill stones back to their source into life energy? If it can be done, then Mao Mao's improvement speed can be improved to a higher level, and the excess part can also be used as energy in the simulation training ground to help improve skill proficiency. Just give it a try. Li Chengen and Mao Mao entered the Deep Beast controlling resonance. Currently, he can withstand 40% of Mao Mao's power at the same level, and is only one step away from being able to use the Deep Beast controlling resonance for a long time. By then, Li Chengen's strength will have made a qualitative leap. But it's not bad now. He can last in this state for 20 minutes, which is enough for him to conduct this experiment. Li Chengen manipulated this half of the mark to swallow up the scattered light spots of different colors in the Thorn Collection room, one by one. These light spots are the skill stones that Li Chengen has accumulated over a long period of time. Then try to use the return to origin effect of Chaotic Blood Feast to decompose these skill stones. This process was extremely labor intensive, and his tension and mental strength drained away like a flood. Finally, in his surprised eyes, he got an unexpected result. I actually made this thing out of you. Bonus points for all skills. When Li Chengen's magical power, which was comparable to that of a high-level beast master, was only 1% left, these skill stones decomposed into white light spots. According to the information fed back from the mark, these white light points are called, blank skill points. It can synthesize any of Li Chengen's existing skills, including Hell Flame, Red Lotus Breath, and Wood Puppet. This means that the skills of Yao Yao and Mao Mao that cannot be obtained through the outside world can be quickly improved. The current conversion of blank skill points discovered by Li Chengen is as follows. Decomposing one low-level skill equals one blank skill point. Decompose one intermediate skill equals two blank skill points. Decompose one high-level skill equals five blank skill points. However, using blank skill points to synthesize the corresponding skills consumes ten times more. In other words, synthesizing a low-level skill requires a full ten blank skill points and so on. When Li Chengen learned about this extremely unequal conversion formula, he almost gave up. Those skin for money games in the previous life were not so deceptive, right? Um, no, it seems to be a little more conscientious than those Krypton gold games. Li Chengen recalled his experience of eating dirt when he was young, and he accepted the conversion rules of hunting notes a lot. At least there is no small perfect level and big perfect level between skill perfect level and domination level, which already gives him a lot of peace of mind. This wave of decomposition only decomposed one-third, and gained 165 blank skill points. Mao Mao also had partial authority over the hunting note mark. The moment he saw the blank skill point, his fiery eyes poked directly at Li Chengen's pale face. Meow, Cheng An, let me see your limit. At this moment, Li Chengen looked at the hunting notes with a much frightened look. This is simply using your life to add points. The next morning, Li Chengen's eyes were sunken, his face was pale, and his legs were shaking as he walked out of the room, holding on to the wall. Behind him were the radiant Mao Mao and the expectant Yao Yao. That night, Li Chengen's mental and magical powers were empty and empty, and he gained 513 blank skill points. The inventory of skill stones from the previous period was exhausted, and 480 blank skill points were spent to synthesize 48 copies of the low-level skill, Hell Fire. By continuously adding points to Mao Mao's proficiency level, Hell Flame, he passed the perfection level and was directly upgraded to the dominance level. This led to the tragic situation of Li Chengen this morning and the eager expressions of the two little ones. No, it's terrible. I still have to buy an A-grade nutrition bar. No. I'm going to buy an S-grade one this time. Li Chengen stared at the ceiling of the living room with his eyes blank, motionless. Seeing his appearance, Mao Mao felt a little ashamed. Meow, how about once a week? Yao Yao quickly added. Guji. Let's do it twice, be safe.
When Li Chengen heard this, he gasped for air and covered the left side of his heart with both hands, looking as if he was about to die suddenly. Has Yao Yao's little cotton padded jacket reached the stage of air leakage? In the end, the Li family team finally decided that when circumstances permit, Li Chengen will ensure two additional points a week. Once for Mao Mao and once for Yao Yao. Li Chengen finally accepted this unequal treaty, and he could even foresee that a third little guy would join the team in the future. This number will become three times a week. I won't contract so many pet beasts anymore. Then Li Chengen let out a sigh of relief, forget it, let me solve the future problems in the future. Now let's think about how to increase the magic power in our body. Before, he was still angry that the space for controlling beasts was too big, but now he felt that 5,000 cubic meters seemed not enough. Not many skills can be decomposed at one time, and the same goes for mental strength, which is so lacking. Li Chengen has a long and arduous road ahead. After chewing an A-grade nutritional bar and milk soaked in 100% calcium tablets, Li Chengen luxuriously called a taxi. The way to the subway is too far to walk. After Yao Yao returned to the beast controlling space, she clenched her little paws and decided that the next planting target would be the mid-level resource, Pei Yuan Root. Tonic for Chang An, if a male is so short-lasting, he will be looked down upon by females of the same race. Of course, first of all, Chang An needs to raise its wooden puppet skill to the proficient level, otherwise it won't be able to grow it. Yao Yao's abacus was even heard by Mao Mao who was sleeping. Mao Mao mourned for Li Chengen and then closed his eyes, pretending not to know. If Li Chengen knew the psychological activities of the two little animals, he would definitely shout, Pollution, absolutely pollution, you must be contaminated by the hunting notes. The hunting notes indicate that I do not bear the blame. One is the disaster itself, which is not afraid of pollution, and the other is the choice of the moon god, who purifies pollution. It used its head to seduce these two. Holders, you have to find the reason from yourself, it has been like this for so many years. This is called human nature, oh no, it's animal nature. Bai Wenshan's first reaction when he saw Li Chengen was, Lao Li, did you go there yesterday and get a free ticket? Li Chengen rolled his eyes and explained, experimenting an ability almost drained me dry. Bai Wenshan's eyes narrowed and he showed a mean smile, which made Li Chengen want to hit him very much. No need to explain, I understand, man. Bai Wenshin patted Li Chengen's arm and walked into the game waiting room with a smile on his face. Li Chengen took a deep breath. It seemed that this situation could not be explained for the time being. Fortunately, Bai Wenshin was not a talkative person. I probably won't say it everywhere. Li Chengen put aside his distracting thoughts and concentrated on checking today's game. Today is the third day of the Goblet of Fire where the top eight in Hongyun city will be decided. The beast masters who can stand here are the most talented ones in Hongyun city, and they are relatively difficult to deal with. It's hard to say that Mao Mao will appear, after all, most of Yao Yao's skill pool are auxiliary skills. It has only been chosen by the moon god for a short time, and it has not yet shown its edge. Soon the big screen in the game waiting room listed the games for this morning. Li Chengen found his name. No. 33 Li Chengen versus. No, 45 Wei Shuyi. The seed players are from the Wei family. Li Chengen looked at the pretty girl looking at the scenery by the waiting room window. This was Wei Shuyi. When seeing the competition arrangements, the second young lady of the Wei family also turned her attention to Li Chengen. The two people's eyes collided in the air, and electric sparks erupted, causing the surrounding players to step back with shock on their faces. Beep. The above scenes only appear in Wei Shuyi's mind, and they are all delusions. The real situation is that Li Chengen suddenly felt Wei Shuyi's gaze, and then the girl looked passionate and gave Li Chengen a pink fist. He looked completely baffled. Li Chengen evaluated Wei Shuyi from the bottom of his heart, a woman who was as inconsistent as Kong Siwei. Well, approach with caution. Bai Wenshin is number 18 and plays before Li Chengen. He was very lucky and didn't meet any seated players. The opponent was a person from No. 4 Middle School. Although he was very good, he was eventually worn down by the thorns. Speaking of the thorn bear trained by Bai Wenshin, the topic on the internet is even more popular than him. A violent thorn bear behaved in an obscene manner. This was simply a fresh and interesting story that shattered the Beast Master's outlook on life. 
especially the fearful expression on Thorn Bear's face after winning the game was made into a large number of emoticons. Deeply loved by sand sculpture netizens. 923, if I hadn't been clever, I would have fallen, and there was a loser lying at Fatty's feet, with an expression of, it's terrible, written on his face. Memes like this are prevalent. He even got by Wenchen to receive an endorsement deal, only for Fatty Bear. Although it is the Bai family's own property, it is still 2 million in endorsement fees. Bai Wenchen was so happy that he kept talking about this before the game. The parents of the Bai family and the Lee family have similar training styles. Once their children embark on the path of Beast Masters, they will stop giving out pocket money. You can use your family's connections, but you have to earn the money to train your pet. Li Chengen seriously suspected that Bai Wenshin's mother really couldn't stand the boy's earning ability, so she specially arranged benefits for her son. After the first round, Li Chengen came on the court. Opposite him is the second young lady of the Wei family, Wei Shuyi. The little girl released her beast before the referee issued an order. An extraordinary three-star swift wind white dog with wind attribute. Then he looked at Li Chengen with excitement, as if he was going to have a real battle with swords and guns. The referee was confused by this mysterious operation. Li Chengen once again affirmed his previous evaluation. I'm afraid this child is not seriously ill. But all joking aside, the Zunfang white dog opposite is indeed not easy to mess with. The four major families in Hongyan City all have pet beast evolution paths with powerful attributes. The Qin family's Thunder Eagle, the Wei family's Wind Dog, the Ji family's Fire Lion, and the Wang family's Wire Ape. The swift wind white dog in front of me is the evolution of the wind dog, with elite high potential, good speed and attack. Li Chengen still released Yao Yao, because letting Mao Mao come out would kill an opponent of this level faster than an instant kill. The breath of a hybrid dragon can scare the little dog into fainting, which will have a huge psychological impact on the child. Not good, not good. As soon as Wei Shuyi saw Yao Yao appear, her face suddenly flushed, as if she had seen some unique treasure. Yes, that's right, it's this kind of crystal clear white hair. It's fluffy and must be very comfortable to the touch. Wei Shuyi wiped the saliva from the corner of her mouth and shouted, I'm sorry, honey, use swift wind claw. The white breeze wrapped around the claws of the swift wind white dog, and it sprang out from the place, leaving behind a trail of afterimages, tearing towards Yao Yao's petite body. Li Chengen's instructions were very simple, so simple that even Wei Shuyi couldn't believe it. Yao Yao, fire coverage. Hearing this sentence, Yao Yao's eyes lit up. After competing for so many days, she finally heard this sentence. Opening parenthesis question mark. W. Dark green energy fluctuations erupted from Yao Yao's ribbon ears, and then when Swift Wind White Dog just arrived in the middle of the competition venue. The twin blades of the moon erupted. Ten energy blades in one second. No, more than that. Yao Yao is still releasing the double blades of the moon. After the transformation, the energy reserve in Yao Yao's body has already exceeded the category of extraordinary level. 10, 20, 50. Half of the field where Swift Wind White Dog was was covered with energy blades all over the sky. Boom, 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 boom. The dark green energy blade erupted on the playing field, and the moment it shattered, it set off large swaths of energy debris, forming green smoke in the air. Covering Wei Shuyi's gaze and the live broadcast footage. It was difficult to see clearly the current state of Swift Wind White Dog. The little girl Wei Shuyi also had a worried look on her face. She had not yet received a response from Swift Wind White Dog on her soul contract. After a while, the energy debris mist dissipated. A Swift Wind White Dog with messy hair clamped its hind legs in the wind. Except for it, the surrounding ground was full of dark marks cut by the double blades of the moon. He swallowed, shivered, and didn't dare to move. Yao Yao screamed happily as if she had drank a glass of ice water in the desert. Guji, I feel so happy. Li Chengen, who taught Yao Yao these words. Stand up. When I think about it carefully, hey, it seems to be me. That's okay. Well, so cute. Li Chengen chuckled and asked, do you want to continue? Before Wei Shuyi could say anything, Swift Wind White Dog took the place of its owner and shook its head desperately. No fight, no fight at all. If we keep fighting, we will eat the dog meat hot pot made by Ben Wong tonight. The referee saw that Swift Wind White Dog had lost his will to fight, 
so he also made a ruling. The swift wind white dog has lost its will to fight. Li Chang'an wins this game. Suddenly the scene erupted with strong cheers, Yao Yao's movement just now was too loud. The energy blades flying all over the sky focused the attention of most of the audience on this arena. In a match where an extraordinary rookie fights, this kind of scene can appear, which is also a thrill for the audience. This little rabbit is so strong. What breed is it? I will let my son contract one in the future. M. It looks like an ordinary white rabbit mutated into a pet beast. What nonsense, can ordinary animals mutate into such powerful beasts? Even if your ancestral grave is on fire, you may not be able to transform it. Why are you attacking me personally? The audience was talking a lot, and the players in the competition waiting room all had solemn expressions. It can even be said to be like morning in air. How could such a monster appear this time? How can an extraordinary two-star pet beast have such energy reserves and attack strength? The seed players from the remaining two families also took a deep breath of air, wondering how they could fight like this. Their two signature beasts cannot fly, so they are a living target for the rabbit on the ground. Ji Chun and Wang Lei looked at each other. Super fast speed. The final move. The two spoke at the same time, but at the same time they looked desperate. These two things are currently not qualities that their pet beasts can possess. There was a meaning in Ji Chun's eyes, vote. Wang Lei nodded and voted. What can they do? They are also desperate. There is nothing they can do about this kind of large-scale continuous attack. Unless their pet beast breaks through to the elite level, there is no chance. After Li Chang'an came back, he found that the atmosphere in the game waiting room was a bit strange. Why is everyone avoiding him? And you, Bai Wenchen, what are you hiding? Bai Wenchen was pulled out by Li Chang'an with a smile, and he looked like he didn't want to do it either, and said, Old Li, you are hiding it too deeply. Is Yao Yao so violent? No wonder my fat girl is so afraid of her sister. Bai Wenchen's voice was not loud but the players here were all beast masters and their physical fitness had been enhanced, so these words could still be heard. Of course they knew that the fat man in Baiwan Mountain Pass was referring to the thorn bear. But if the bloodline of a rabbit and a thorn bear cannot be beaten with eight sticks, how can they become siblings? Is it a test subject of some evil research institution? Some people got more and more wrong the more they thought about it, and almost called the police. This is when Ji Chun and Wang Lei came out, while the child Wei Shiyi was still in the corner of the window, autistic. Ji Chun asked, Brother Li, I'm curious about the relationship between siblings like you, a pet beast. A group of players around who were watching the game focused on Li Chang'an and pretended not to care. In fact, everyone's ears were stretched out as much as possible, for fear of missing a word. Li Chang'an explained, Brother Li, it feels a bit strange. Just call me Ji Chang'an. Ji Chun smiled gracefully, and Wang Lei's curious gaze could no longer be suppressed. Then Li Chang'an explained to the two the causal relationship between Yao Yao and Thorn Bear Fatty. Ji Chun and the two also looked like they had seen the world. I didn't expect that there are vegetarian thorn bears in this world. Sure enough, there are blue stars. Ji Chun sighed at the wonder of all things, and the players around him also had the same expressions, and he could hear the sounds of, oh, and, hum, coming and going. Li Chang'an's facial muscles trembled a few times. Are you so free? You don't watch the game, but you come to listen to the gossip. With this chat, the relationship between Ji Chun and others and Li Chang'an instantly became much closer. Several people also chatted about the anecdotes they usually saw, without any pretense. If the game hadn't been approaching, Wang Lei and Bai Wenchen would have been chatting until dark. In the next game, Li Chang'an was very sleepy. It would be better to say that there was no sense of experience. After seeing that they were going to play against Li Chang'an, every opponent decisively chose to give up the game. In this way, Li Chang'an became the champion of the Hongyan City Division without any suspense. Received an incentive bonus of half a million yuan. Well, it's better than nothing. In addition to Bai Wenchen, Ji Chun and Wang Lei, there are also two students from Hongyan number. One middle school who advanced to the quarterfinals this time. They are Ji Mo from class 1, who is also Ji Chun's cousin, and Zhe Wuxi from class 3. They disgusted a large number of low level beast masters to death with their strong shield defense and defensive shock. The remaining two are freshmen, considered new beast masters within three years. 
I originally wanted to kill all the high school students. I didn't expect this year to be so exciting, with the seeds of the four major families coming out, and a group of dark horses like Li Chang'an emerging. It directly ended the dreams of these two people. The competition with the other four prefecture-level cities will be held the day after tomorrow. Li Chang'an will follow the official team of Hongyan City to Suihai City tomorrow to prepare for the competition the day after tomorrow. When he returned home to pack his things, he learned about the fate of Qin Guang's lineage from Mu Qingqing who hurried home. There was neither pleasure nor surprise. After all, in a competition held by Tianhe Group, how could the precious daughter of the major shareholder of Kohai Group be safe and sound? Before Mu Qingqing left, she told Li Chang'an, your father and I are at the research institute these days, and your master is also here. If you need anything, just come to the research institute and see us. Oh, after saying that, Mu Qingqing packed her and Li Mingxuan's clothes into the suitcase and hurried out. Li Chang'an looked at his mother's back getting into the car from the window of his room, his eyes twinkling. It seems that the project that Comrade Lao Li has been busy with involves a lot. Old man Dong Yuchen most likely came here to do business, considering the strange things happening at home these days. It is not difficult for Li Chang'an to deduce this. When the sky falls, there is a tall person holding it up. He, a small low-level beast master, no longer has to worry about the affairs of these big shots. Before night fell, Li Chang'an harvested a batch of blue mist grass planted in the backyard. Yao Yao's moonlight condensation has been upgraded, so there is no need to harvest the blue garden grass at night. The mid-level skill hidden breath produced by blue mist grass only during the day is more cost-effective to decompose. This wave of harvest allowed Li Chang'an to gain 68 blank skill points. The amount of work is not large and is within what he can bear. There are 101 blank skill points left, and I can't add any skills, so I'll save them for now. After harvesting this wave, Wooden Puppet will no longer cultivate blue mist grass for the time being. Compared with Qingyu Linglu, which is harvested every three days, blue mist grass is harvested every two days, which is much faster. And he will leave Hongyan City tomorrow to participate in the competition area. It is expected that he will stay in Suihai City for about a week, and there will be no time to come back to harvest the blue mist grass. So Li Chang'an asked Yao Yao to cultivate Qingyu Linglu instead. This thing can be accumulated, and the wooden puppet can work for a week at a time. He can still make a fortune when he comes back. And these blue mist grasses were not useless. He sold all the fodder he had saved these days to a family next door. The child in that family is the same age as Li Chang'an, and he also became a beast master this year. The initial pet animal of the contract is the milk-flavored cow. These high-quality blue mist grasses are suitable for helping the milk-flavored cow produce milk. Xiao Li, here we go again. Aunt Sui, this is the last batch of Lan Zhang these days. Oh, I remember you are going to participate in the competition, right? Well, it will take a week to come back. Well, it looks like my child is going to have a hard time this week. Li Chengen said goodbye to a middle-aged woman wearing an apron. This wave of fodder sold for 20,000 yuan. It is already considered to be of high quality and low price. Blue mist grass is not a white flower grass, and its growth conditions are harsh. Except in the wild and some secret areas, it is difficult to grow blue mist grass. Li Chang'an originally wondered why Mu Qingqing could plant a batch of blue mist grass, but later he learned that the tea garden was originally a small secret realm. This secret realm was originally conquered by Mu Qingqing and he bought it along the way. The next morning, Li Chang'an first bought some props for the seaside city from the trade union, just in case. Then we rushed to the airport and gathered with the competition team players. As soon as he arrived at the airport, Li Chang'an found that everyone had arrived except him. So he walked into the team with a resentful look on his face. There are three people leading this participating team, two women and one man. They are Fang Yao, a director of Tianhe Group. Ku Bingchao from Hongyan City Beast Control Association, and Xu Na, an invited team leader. Among them, Xu Kena is a king-level beast master, which made Li Chengen secretly shocked. A rookie competition team actually invited a king-level beast master to come to the scene. The Beast Control Association in Hongyan City is really willing to spend money. Xu Kena glanced at Li Chengen, 
who came last, and looked at the time on the airport screen. He said in a cold voice, Everyone is here, get on the aircraft. Li Chengen caught Shu Kena's movements and secretly called her lucky that she wasn't really late. A group of people passed through the designated passage, and what caught the eyes of several young people was a large aircraft that looked like a flying bird. The feathers on the exterior of the aircraft sparkle in the sun, full of biological texture. The blue glass at the nose of the plane is like the eyes of a machine bird, dark and deep. Li Chengen had an intuition that the aircraft seemed to be alive. Someone soon explained his doubts. Fang Yao from Tianhe Group proudly introduced, this is the Beifang Machine Bird and Beast arranged by Kaihe Group. Upon hearing this name, Bai Wenshen immediately exclaimed, Is this a rare mechanical beast? Fang Yao took advantage of Bai Wenshen's surprise, and then introduced, The maximum flying speed of the million-digit bird beast is Mach 10. It is equipped with 36 secondary guns and one main gun. It can target a county-level city. The area was bombed continuously for three hours. We can definitely guarantee your safety. Li Chengen was also surprised. The aura of the million digital machine bird beast in front of him had not even reached the king level, but it had such destructive power. Sure enough, every mechanical pet beast is a war machine, and it is really unique in terms of fighting. At the same time, the risk factor outside the city was once again raised. In the Dongguang Kingdom, one must ride a mechanical beast of this level across every city to ensure absolute safety. Sure enough, Humans in this world still have a long way to go. Walking into the interior of the million machine bird beast, the space inside is not as big as expected and can probably accommodate 50 people. The interior decoration is classical and the style is relatively warm. Li Chengen, the new beast master, has just sat down. Hu Bingchao from the Beast Control Association sent them information on the opponents in each prefecture level city they would face tomorrow. Hu Bingchao clapped her hands to direct their attention to her. What you have in your hands now is information about the top eight in other cities. There are a few people you need to pay attention to, Wu Hongyun from Tianung City, Shang Guan Yu from Suihai City. Hu Bingchao explained everything in front of him, and Li Chengen silently remembered it in his heart, because it was all told to him. This time the five cities united, the players from Hongyun City and Ma City were not outstanding. This is related to the lack of resources in these two cities. Fengyang City and Suihai City are both wealthy prefecture-level cities. Their top names are both level 4 beastmasters, and they both contract at least one elite-level pet beast. It is worth noting that if you really want to encounter Mao Mao, it will be fine. As for Tianong City, this prefecture-level city can compete with the capital of Province Z. The reason is that Tianong City is located at the junction of the Longmen Mountains and the Wenling Plain. Resources can no longer be called abundant, but they are fed by God. Therefore, the top three in this city are all level 4 beast masters, and the first one is contracted with three elite beasts. Against players like them who came from the countryside, they were simply crushed. Although the number one in Tianong City is one year older than them, except for Li Chengen, very few of the remaining ones can break through to level 4 Beastmaster next year. Not to mention cultivating three elite level pet beasts. Moreover, this is the threshold to become an intermediate Beastmaster, and it is not so easy to break through. Not everyone is like Li Chengen, who is extremely talented and runs a plug-in factory. After seeing this information, most of the players were already in despair. Not to mention three elite beasts, just one was enough for them to use all their strength. Moreover, this competition does not use only one pet beast, but several pets until the opponent is defeated. Apart from not being able to play in person, there are no restrictions. Li Chengen looked at the last restriction and couldn't help but clicked his tongue. He is no longer the level 2 beastmaster he used to be. It is very difficult to defeat an elite one-star lightning rat. Now if we can let real people go into battle, everyone on the opposite side will be cut down. Hu Bingchao's eyelids jumped when she heard Li Chengen's dissatisfaction with the last rule. You really want to play by yourself. Then a strange look appeared on her pretty face. She knew Li Chengen's information. Without the last stipulation, they might not have been able to win in Hongyun City. Wrong. Hu Bingchao rejected this idea in her heart. Without the last stipulation, this conference could be said to be a chaotic mess. 
every one of these so-called beast mastering geniuses had to be beaten to collapse by the new hunters from five cities. After Ku Bing Chao finished explaining, he asked everyone to digest the information in their hands. Li Chengen's eyes fell on the first place in Tianong City and Qingmosi City, because these two people pose the greatest threat. Wu Hongyun in Tianong City, in addition to two other ordinary elite-level pet beasts, there is also a hybrid dragon species, the golden-scaled dragon bird. Ma City Palace Crown Jade, although there is only one elite-level pet beast, this pet beast is equally powerful, with the strong Luan bird bloodline, the thunder-breaking blue bird. The status is equivalent to that of the sub-dragon species. Li Chengen, who owns Yao Yao and Mao Mao, naturally knows how much suppression this kind of pet beast with a high bloodline level can bring to other pet beasts. Take Wu Hongyun as an example. That golden-scaled dragon bird can kill the other two elite beasts, Wu Yun Heavy Horse and Bai Quan Elf. Like the difference between elite units and ordinary units. As for Gong Guan Yu's thunder-breaking blue bird, without any external interference, there is no doubt that it can crush the golden-scaled dragon bird of the same level. This green sparrow can be considered a small boss-level unit. Of course, Li Chengen is still confident, because Mao Mao is the final boss level. Not to mention breaking Thunder Chink, even if he met the pure-blooded Chingluan, he would still fall randomly despite being separated by a large step. There is also a gap between pure bloods. Only a five-color phoenix emperor of the same level can compete with an atavistic ancient dragon like Mao Mao, let alone a green bird with mixed blood. After keeping all the player's information in mind, Li Chengen began to close his eyes and rest. Hu Bing Chao couldn't help but nodded when she saw Li Chengen's calm look. Faced with such a terrible gap, this young man did not flinch. No wonder the president asked me to pay more attention to him before leaving. The entire journey was silent. After the millions of robot birds and beasts landed, two from the other three cities also arrived, but the people from Tianong City had not yet arrived. Therefore, Li Chengen and others and people from other cities were waiting at the airport. Bai Wenshin complained quietly, It's been half an hour, why haven't the people from Tianong City arrived yet? Is it such a big deal? At this moment, a silver aircraft fell from the sky, its fuselage showing an assembly line, like a proud dragon falcon flying across the sky. People from Tianong City have arrived. As soon as the cabin door opened, a bald man shouted loudly, Sorry, sorry, our top-seated player made a breakthrough and came a step too late. Ha ha ha. This sound made everyone's expressions change. They were all level 4 beastmasters and had a breakthrough. Could it be that Wu Hongyun has? Most of the players present had heavy expressions on their faces, including Gong Guanyu, who was confident before. When arriving at the officially arranged hotel, the contestants were all assigned a room for two people. Bai Wenshin took the initiative to team up with Li Chengen. After arriving at the corresponding room in the hotel, Bai Wenshin put down his luggage and asked. Lao Li, are you sure? Speaking of this, he also remembered the secret joy he felt when he learned that Wen Miaohua would not participate in the competition. Now that things have happened, he really hopes that the big boss Wen Miaohua can come to participate in the competition. Although Wen Miaohua's written test scores were not as good as Li Chengen's, the time it took to cultivate his pet beast was much longer than that of Li Chengen. She definitely has an elite pet beast in her hands. Li Chengen saw Bai Wenshin's worry. He put away his luggage and said vaguely, it's okay. The boat will naturally straighten out when it reaches the bridge. Just take your time and watch. Li Chengen's open-minded words made by Wenshin smile bitterly. It was over. Even Lao Li, who always liked to pretend to be a cup, stopped pretending. Hongyun City will probably be embarrassed in this competition. Coming to the only city in Zi province that is close to the sea, Chang'an naturally would not stay in his room. As soon as I packed my luggage, I took the shocked Bai Wenshin out for a walk. There are three scenic spots in Suihai City, Linfang Cliff, Junhai Tower and Nao Nao Street. Linfang Cliff is a cliff bordering the East China Sea. The sea breeze here is strong all year round. Although the scenery is magnificent, there are sometimes strong winds and waves. Therefore, it is a place where many beast masters contracted with wind or water beasts perform penance. Li Chengen came out to relax, so why would he go to a place of ascetic cultivation like Linfengya? Junhai Tower is a classical tower. Every October, many tourists gather here to watch the tide. Unfortunately, 
it is August now, and there is still some time before the big tide arrives. Therefore, Junhai Tower is also relatively cold and there is nothing interesting about it. So the two of them came to Nao High Street, one of the most popular downtown blocks in Suihai City. Nao High Street is crowded with people, the sounds of vendors are everywhere, and the smell of various snacks is accompanied by bursts of fireworks. It pours into the nose of everyone who comes to Nao High Street. Seeing this scene, Bai Wenshin's depressed mood dissipated a lot, and he bought everything indiscriminately. After a while, he already carried several paper bags filled with snacks in his hand, and held a cup of milk tea in his other hand, drinking it endlessly. There is no hint of the bad mood he had before. Mao Mao and Yao Yao were lying on Li Chengen's shoulders, one on each side. Their small and exquisite appearance attracted many passers by to turn around. Some bold little girls even came forward and asked for photos. But they were all rejected by Li Chengen. Mao Mao held a grilled squid in her hand and chewed it, not forgetting to ask Li Chengen to stop and buy some more food. Meow, Cheng An, I want this. Guji, I want it too. The two little voices came one after another. Li Chengen perfectly acted as the shit shovel and paid for two copies. These snacks are so cheap compared to their real meals. After eating this piece of snack, the money spent is less than a fraction of Mao Mao's meal. Li Chengen was walking on the road and accidentally saw a person. The second place in Tianong City, Wu. This girl, who is slender and even poorer than Wen Miaohua, is squatting at a roadside stall, playing tabletop pinball. It's the kind that uses a spring to pop up a small ball on a board. If the ball falls to that area, the reward is what? It can be said that out of 10 pinballs, 9 are cheated. The remaining one is no different from open grabbing. The key is that this girl is still playing very enthusiastically and muttering. One more time, I have found the feeling, one more time I can bounce the ball to the big prize area. Li Chengen glanced at the first prize, which was a shiny deep sea rough stone, and then looked at the money in the boss's hand. Girl, the money you get from playing this game is enough to buy two deep sea rough stones. Bai Wenshin on the side couldn't stand it anymore, how could such a stupid girl fall for such a scam? When Huo Yanwu heard Bai Wenshin's words, she rolled her eyes and pulled Bai Wenshin over. Since you are so capable, then come. Bai Wenshin was extremely angry, why? You are not me. Huo Xian raised a finger and said, 100,000 hits. Bai Wenshin immediately put the paper bag in Li Chengen's hand and ran to the stall. Okay, which one do you want to win? Li Chengen's stall owner. Huo Yanwu was stunned. Obviously she didn't expect Bai Wenshin to be so thick-faced. She pointed at the first prize and said, it's just that stone. Bai Wenshin skillfully pulled up the spring and then shouted loudly, which frightened the stall owner. The ball bounced off at lightning speed, and then fell into the first prize area before the boss could react. Bai Wenshin extended his hand to Huo Yanwu and said, Bring it 100,000, and I won't accept credit. Huo Yanwu's eyes suddenly became bright, come a few times. Bai Wenshin remained unaffected and said, Pay the money first. Huo Yanwu muttered dissatisfiedly and completed her first PY transaction with Bai Wenshin through her mobile phone. The beast controlling treasure has arrived at 200,000 yuan. Immediately, Bai Wenshin looked at the stall owner with a scornful look. The stall owner's face changed wildly, and he was about to encounter a hard fight. But out of confidence in his device, he still asked Bai Wenshin to use up all the remaining pinballs. Then, with the boss's expression as if he was dead, he took all the remaining deep sea rough stones with him. Huo Yanwu shouted happily and hugged one of Bai Wenshin's arms in excitement. You are so awesome. Bai Wenshin had dead eyes, pressed his nose with his little finger, and said, you're hurting me. Huo Yanwu's expression suddenly stiffened, and she turned into an angry one, muttering something like, I'm not young at all. Bai Wenshin was pleased to offer 500,000, ignored Huo Yanwu, and left here happily. Huo Yanwu looked at Bai Wenshin's leaving figure, stamped her feet on the spot, and said bitterly, straight man of steel. After leaving, Bai Wenshin patted Li Chengen on the shoulder and boasted to him, whether I am good or not, I can make half a million in one move. Yao Yao on Li Chengen's shoulder slapped Bai Wenshin's hands away in disgust, and Li Chengen's tone paused slightly. In the end, he said tactfully, some of those deep sea rough stones have a deeper aura, because there is a probability that there is something inside. 
Bai Wenshen stopped and opened his mouth with a look of pain on his face. What will be produced from deep sea rough stones? It is most likely to be deep sea crystals, with a market price of 1 million per stone. Huo Yanwu took away several of them, and the other party earned millions from his blood. Lao Li, can I go back and shoot? As long as you can beat her, that's fine. Bai Wenshen was very aware of current affairs and continued to move forward without looking back, for fear of seeing a scene that would make his mentality explode. After passing the snack area, Li Chengen and the two came to Exchange Street, which was obviously much less popular than the Snack Street. Even if the profession of Beast Master is popularized in Dongguang Kingdom, there will still be a minority who insist on following the path of Beast Master. You can also imagine how cold it is here. Li Chengen saw a lot of novel things here, which made her feel itchy, but most of them were unaffordable. There is a saying that things from Beast Masters are really expensive. After walking for a while, we came to the famous Stone Gambling Street. The Beast Masters Stone Gambling is much more dangerous than cutting jade. Most of the things here are ancient stones fished out from unknown secrets or dangerous places. Due to the Great Cataclysm, Various alien fragments were continuously integrated into the blue star, so the number of such ancient stones was also extremely considerable. There are also many styles of these, stones, most of which are agate and stone, and a small number of them are meteorite and some secret boxes that cannot be opened. The contents of these, gambling stones, are also mixed, and some fatal viruses or curses are even worse. The better ones have nothing, except money, and the rest is peaceful. There are fewer examples of those who can open something good than someone who wins the lottery, let alone rare treasures. That was limited to the dictation of the evil boss of Gambling Stone Shop, and was of the same nature as a fabricated story. Li Chengen and Bai Wenshen stopped and walked, but they didn't buy a single stone. Because they know that the water in this industry is very deep and they don't want to get involved. Guji, there is something good, it's the Moonstone. Li Chengen stopped and looked at an earthy yellow stone on a stall. As soon as the stall owner noticed Li Chengen's gaze, he felt a little joyful. He finally had some business today. In fact, there are many beast masters like Li Chengen who release their pet beasts and observe stones. They can be found everywhere. They all make use of the keener perception of pet animals than humans, hoping to select gambling stones that hide treasures. The stall owner greeted warmly. What do you like, little brother? The Beast Master's gambling stone is not like what is written in the novel, the vendors are very thoughtful. They never look at what they have, but rather look at what customers want and what is on their plate. Li Chengen picked up the khaki stone and asked, how much does it cost? The stall owner smiled, stretched out three fingers, and said, 300,000. Li Chengen didn't pay attention to the number proposed by the boss and said directly, 300. The stall owner's face was distorted for a while, and he said dissatisfiedly, Brother, you are going too far. How can this be bargaining? Isn't this robbery? This is the best stone mined from the typing plane of Don Zhou. Li Chengen's face was half smiling, and he chuckled, Boss, you also know that this was an open robbery just now. There are hundreds of millions of stones in Taiyuan, and it only costs a few dozen to mail one or two pieces. The stall owner forced a smile and thought to himself, it seems that we have encountered a tough problem. That won't work, it's too much, let's do this, I'll take a step back, 200,000. The smile on Li Chengen's face disappeared, he threw down the khaki stone and said, boss, your sincerity is too bad, I won't argue with you, just keep it in your pocket and play with it. After saying that, he left without hesitation. A piece of moonstone was not worth his time here. Seeing how decisive Li Chengen was, the stall owner quickly stopped him. This piece of stone had been smashed into his hand for too long. How could he let him escape after finally finding someone who had taken advantage of him? Don't, don't go. Then, little brother, can you give me a count? Li Chengen turned around and sighed, I'll take a step back, 500. The stall owner gritted his teeth and agreed. After Li Chengen paid the money, he threw the stone into the space ring. A moonstone of the lowest quality is worth 500,000. Although he didn't know the quality of it, he would at least earn half a million dollars in blood. Bai Wenshen didn't ask Li Chengen what was in the stone. He just acted as a spectator, not buying. During the next journey, Li Chengen also bought some things, at least they were all profitable transactions. 
There are two pet beasts with high potential levels, so it is convenient to sense them. At the end, Li Chengen came to the stall of a one-eyed old man who sold meteorite iron. The reason why he stopped was that Mao Mao and Yao Yao asked Li Chengen to stop at the same time. Li Di's boss, how do you sell this thing? The one-eyed old man opened his glasses slightly and said, 5 million. Li Chengen, boss, give me a sincere price. This thing is too expensive. If it's rounded, anyone with a discerning eye can tell it's fake. What Li Chengen holds in his hand is a gourd-shaped meteorite iron, which looks very similar to the amulets sold in scenic spots. There was a trace of embarrassment on the one-eyed old man's face, and he continued, I didn't fake it. It was like this when it was mine. Li Chengen suddenly realized, and said, it turns out that the sale of Junhai Tower can also involve things that are born and raised in the world. The implication is that this thing was made in the factories of the merchants in the Junhai Tower scenic area. The one-eyed old man was speechless. To be honest, sometimes he felt that this thing came from Junhai Tower. In fact, the style of this gourd is too similar. Finally the old man asked, Boy, what did you buy it for? The hobby of petting animals, for collection. Then he gestured to Yao Yao on his shoulder. The one-eyed old man gritted his teeth and decided, then let's pay according to the market price. Li Chengen had no objection. He took the iron gourd and weighed it on an electronic scale. Five kilograms and three tails. According to the market price of one gram of meteorite iron, which is 100 Dongguang coins, I can transfer you 265,000. After Li Chengen completed the transfer, the one-eyed old man left with satisfaction. Bai Wenshin couldn't help but said, Old Li, you don't have a metal pet beast, why would you buy meteorite? Li Chengen threw the meteorite gourd to Yao Yao on his shoulder, and Yao Yao put it into the space ring. Of course it's for Yao Yao's collection. Bai Wenshin was dumbfounded. Ah, you are serious. Before returning to the hotel, Li Chengen cleaned all the stones in his hands except for the meteorite gourd and moonstone. With Bai Wenshin's envious expression drooling, he made a net profit of 3.7 million. Li Chengen grabbed Bai Wenshin, who was eager to return to Gambling Street, and quickly returned to the hotel. Money moves people's hearts, not to mention Li Chengen's ridiculously high shipment rate, which is even more impressive. After returning to the hotel, the two had a good night's rest. As for the meteorite gourd, Mao Mao's suggestion is to wait until he returns to Hongyan City and open it under the protection of his parents. Now Li Chengen was more interested in the contents of the iron gourd. The next morning, Shu Kena, the leader of the team, brought the eight teenagers to the competition venue in Suihai City with a cold face. It was a spectacle made of water, and it took a lot of manpower and financial resources to finally build such a pearl-shaped arena. Pearl Arena, even Fang Yao, who was well informed in Tianhe group, was amazed at this time. This ocean pearl standing on the earth is really magnificent, shining with seven colors of light under the sunlight. Entering the waiting room of the players, Ji Chun and Wang Lei nervously watched the upcoming competition arrangements on the big screen. Don't line up with those monsters. Don't line up with those monsters. Several people prayed in their hearts, they didn't want to go on a round trip, that would be too embarrassing. Finally the game was arranged. Of the eight people in Hongyan City, two met a level 4 beast master, one was Wang Lei and the other was one of the college students. After seeing their opponents, these two people immediately became like eggplants beaten by frost. Li Chengen was lucky enough to be matched with a level 3 beast master from Fengyang City. H1 Li Chengen VSF 3 Wan Baimeng. Since Li Chengen is the number one seed here, and Hongyan City is the sponsor of this goblet of fire. So Li Chengen was the first to appear. Standing on the arena, Li Chengen looked at the sweet looking girl in the distance, and his opponent's information appeared in his eyes. Wan Bai Meng, graduated from high school and is a level 3 beastmaster. His pet beasts are an extraordinary 3 star twin tailed fox and an extraordinary 3 star green horned goat. There is no third pet beast. Okay, the connection can handle it. Generally speaking, high school students like Wan Bai Meng cannot afford to raise a third pet animal, unless she is a rich second generation and her family is willing to support her. The referee wearing a blue and white striped referee uniform shouted, the game begins. Dance gracefully, Meiwu. Wan Bai Meng is like an internet celebrity, shouting slogans without blushing at all. 
white light flashed, and a white fox half as tall as a man gracefully walked out of the formation, then turned around deftly, covering half of his fox face with one of his tails. Only a pair of charming fox eyes were revealed. Unexpectedly, Wan Bai Meng's appearance aroused applause from the audience. Apparently they also liked this slightly exaggerated way of appearing. Li Chang'an's face was expressionless, and the blood-colored formations under his feet were turning. Yao Yao's cute and white appearance appeared in front of everyone, and her pair of ears that seemed to be woven by moonlight made her even more dreamy. Oh hoo hoo, it's so cute, I want to know how this little rabbit evolved. Oz, there was a hint of jealousy in Wan Bai Meng's eyes when he looked at Li Chang'an. Why doesn't such a cute pet belong to me? Mei Wu, Moon Blade. Wan Bai Meng took the lead to attack, while Li Chang'an on the opposite side had a strange look on his face. Ah, this, use moon-based moves, are you sure? Li Chang'an said calmly, it was seconds away. A ray of coercion appeared in Yao Yao's silver pupils. The tail of the little fox opposite him that had just been raised suddenly withered, and the milky white moonlight dissipated. The eyes of the pair of charming foxes were filled with fear. Mei Wu, what's wrong with you? Wan Bai Meng shouted anxiously. Before the two-tailed fox could reply, Yao Yao's overwhelming attack had arrived. Boom boom, the twin-tailed fox, which had high attack and low defense, lost consciousness after being hit three times by the energy blade. Li Chengen said expressionlessly, next one. Wan Bai Meng failed to get a response from the two-tailed fox from beginning to end, and her mood at the moment was already a mess. How could this happen? Did Mei Wu not even have a chance to resist? She was obviously one star stronger than the little rabbit opposite her. The referee shouted, Player Wan Bai Meng, please send out the next pet. If the pet is not sent out after three minutes, it will be deemed as a forfeit. Hearing the referee's voice, Wan Bai Meng came to his senses and sent out the green-horned goat absentmindedly. The green-horned goat bleated, its pupils full of surging fighting spirit, and the wood energy on the green goat's horns was looming. It seemed like it was about to burst out at any moment. Wan Bai Meng cheered up and shouted, Qing Zhao, Qianghua. Flowers sprouted from the vines around the neck of the green-horned goat, and then they were wrapped in wood energy, which gathered into a large ball of petal energy and shot toward Yao Yao. The mid-level skill, Thousand Flowers, has a chance of causing a person to fall into a state of chaos. If the skill is proficient enough, powder can be mixed into it. Dust techniques such as poison powder, sleeping powder, and paralysis powder are extremely effective. It can disgust a lot of opponents to death. Li Chengen once thought about letting Yao Yao take this path, but Yao Yao's moon talent increased rapidly. Before he had time to build a system for Yao Yao, the idea was over. Fortunately, Wan Bai Meng's green horned goat was not highly trained, and Qian was control over this skill was too poor to integrate the dust skill into it. Yao Yao, run over. Yao Yao once again threw out hundreds of double blades of the moon in succession, smashing the thousand flowers skill into pieces with an arrogant attitude. Then it hit the stunned green horned goat unstoppably. No, H1 Li Chengen wins. The referee gave his verdict, and Wan Bai Meng walked off the stage with a dejected face. This time the competition is large in scale, and Tianhe Group has arranged for commentators. On the commentary stage, a male and a female commentator took advantage of the break to explain the situation to the audience. Hey, Brother Wang, what happened just now? The gap between the beasts of the two players is so obvious. Why did the game end so quickly? The female commentator asked, and Brother Wang, who was wearing a suit, explained, Okay, Nanako. First, Let's take a look at the first game. The two-tailed fox clearly took the opportunity and launched the attack first. But why did you give up energy condensation again? The female commentator Nanako answered at the right time, why? Brother Wang quickly picked it up and said, first of all, there are two guesses. One is that Li Chang'an's pet beast is of the moon type, and its bloodline level is very high, which directly intimidated the double-tailed fox. Secondly, this pet beast is extremely proficient in the moon blade skill, and it directly robs the moon energy near the twin-tailed fox, making it unable to activate the skill. Commentator Nanako looked surprised and said, Afa, that doesn't mean that no matter what the guess is, Li Chengen's pet is extremely extraordinary. Male commentator brother Wang replied, Yes, and with this rogue-like skill, pet beasts below the elite level can be said to have almost no power to fight back against it. 
several people in the team in Fengyang City looked at their strongest person, the level 4 beast master, Zhou Mei. Sister Mei, what do you think of this person? Zhou Mei said weakly. It's, not bad. If he faces an elite beast, he may not be able to maintain the advantage. Coincidentally, in the room where the Tianong City team was located, Huo Yanwu recognized Li Chengen. Wasn't that the person who was with the straight man yesterday? It's quite powerful, but not as good as this girl. Wu Hongyun, the top seed in Tianong City, took in the whole game and felt relieved in his heart. Not bad, not bad, it's just extraordinary two star. If you advance to elite one star, you don't have to play these games. Owning the golden scaled dragon bird, he very calmly realized that the origin of this rabbit was unusual, at least comparable to the green bird in Gong Guanyu. He knew best how much strength the bloodline pet beasts, second only to the pure-blooded dragons, could exert. His golden-scaled dragon bird had also reached this state, so he felt relieved just now. Don't even think about this year's champion, Li Chang'an. Next year's champion is very possible. Wu Hongyun clenched his fist, as if he had a winning ticket, this advantage is mine. After Li Chang'an's victory, he rested in the waiting room. Mao Mao yawned boredly in the beast control space. Meow, so boring. Sitting in the waiting room, Li Chengen looked at the big screen silently. He saw all the seed players on the list given by Ku Bing Chao. To be honest, it is very strong, but only in the beast control competition. After getting off the ring and fighting without rules in the wild, he could torture these so-called seeded players to death. It's a pity that real people are not allowed to play in this kind of competition. At this time, Wu Hongyun's frost ghost puppet was killing everyone on the field. Li Chengen silently decided to let Yao Yao absorb the excellent quality moonstone when he went back tonight. Strive to break through to the realm of extraordinary three stars as soon as possible. After filing a leave of absence with Shu Kena, Li Chengen left the field. There has been no competition for him in the past two days. For the sake of ratings, only one test will be held at a time in this competition, and a dedicated commentator will explain the key points. The competition for 40 people will be held over two days, and the top 10 will be determined. Li Chengen won one game, and the next game will be the day after tomorrow. Therefore, there is enough time to collect resources for Yao Yao's breakthrough. He came to the Hunter's Guild in Suihai City. The union here was unique. It was located in a huge cave on the cliff by the sea, with an open-air public tavern outside. Li Chengen took out his hunter badge and, under the guidance of the receptionist, came to the logistics warehouse here. Green light grass, moon dew flower, white moss. Li Chengen spent all the three million he just got in his hands. Of course, there are not only resources for Yao Yao's breakthrough, but also some rare materials that Mao Mao will use next. For example, Sea flame stone, this kind of ore can only be collected in the deep sea, and there is no such thing in the inland Hongyan city. If he hadn't come to Suihai city, Li Chengen might not have been able to think of this material. The function of the sea flame stone is to cultivate the buffering ability of the purgatory core. Mao Mao's current hell flame is too powerful. But his own strength level is not high, so it is easier for him to leave hidden wounds on his body. Although Yao Yao's moonlight cure is available now, as it relates to the future, Li Chengen decided to let Mao Mao derive related abilities on his own. After all, with the growth of strength, Yao Yao's moonlight healing will fail sooner or later, so it is better to make plans as soon as possible. Hey and Greedy Fish Feast This is a food combination recorded in Mao Mao's inherited memory, a spiritual food recipe that Mu Qingqing researched before breaking through in her skills. The level is high-level spiritual food. At least the group can try to make it after Li Chengen breaks through to the intermediate level Beast Master. This high level spiritual food can help Mao Mao better operate the purified Hellfire. After using it many times, this more terrifying Hellfire can even nourish the furry ancient dragon's body. It's just that the main materials are a little harder to find. Sea Flame Greedy Fish Feast In addition to the Sea Flame Stone, the other main ingredient is the Fire Greedy Fish. This kind of fish only lives near submarine volcanoes. Without a powerful water-based pet beast, it is difficult to catch this kind of monster on the seabed. Fortunately, the Hunter's Guild in Suihai City has a stock of fire fish, which is good news for Li Chang'an. I'll just go to Suihai City again then. As for why not buy it now?
This spiritual food requires fresh fire fish. If you buy it now, there is no way to feed the fire fish, so it would be a waste of money to buy it. Might as well come again then. After a crazy purchase, Li Chengin returned to the hotel and began to make Yao Yao's breakthrough meal. Lunar Eclipse Powder The so-called Moon Eclipse Powder is actually an auxiliary spiritual food made of moonstone as the main material. Its effect is to assist moon-type beasts in absorbing the power of moonlight. The better the quality of the moonstone, the better the auxiliary effect of this spiritual food. The quality of the moonstone that Li Chengen opened was top grade, enough for Yao Yao to break through in two days. When Yao Yao was given the status of God's chosen before, a large amount of moonlight was absorbed by it and deposited in her body. This huge energy is sealed through the talent moonlight throne and what Li Chengen is doing now is to open a small hole in this seal. This piece of moonstone is about the size of a fist, enough for Ji Chengen to make two portions of food. The stone exuding silvery white moonlight was finely ground by Li Chengen, and various materials were constantly added into it. Finally, drop a few milliliters of Qingyu Linglu and stir for a few times, and a thick lunar eclipse powder is completed. As expected of me, the first production was successful. Li Chengen breathed a sigh of relief. This was his first time to challenge the intermediate spiritual food since the transformation of his talent spiritual skills. Summon Yao Yao, place it on the table covered with a bath towel, and carefully apply the self-food powder on every inch of Yao Yao's hair. When the lunar eclipse powder began to take effect, the mark of the moon appeared between Yao Yao's eyebrows, continuously emitting weak fluorescence. Yao Yao's body also began to tremble continuously. This was because she was trying to digest the huge moonlight energy in her body. Also, he was shivering from the cold due to the impact of the concentrated moonlight. Li Chengen closed the curtains and turned on the heating function of the air conditioner to provide Yao Yao with a little warmth. As for turning on the heating in the summer, he didn't care. With the shadow of prison ability, he wouldn't feel anything obvious unless he lay in the lava and took a bath. It lasted for two hours. As the moon eclipse powder gradually lost its effect, Yao Yao no longer shivered so violently. The door of the hotel room was suddenly opened, and Bai Wenchen's voice came from the door. Lao Li, you, holy shit, is it so hot in the room? Is it leaking? Bai Wenchen took Bing Kuoluo, looked at Li Chengen who didn't have a drop of sweat on his forehead, and then looked up at the running air conditioner. His scalp was numb and he said, Turn on the heating in summer, Niji, do you have any masochistic tendencies? At this moment, the aura on Yao Yao's body suddenly exploded, and countless moonlight condensed out of thin air. The temperature in the room, which was relatively hot just now, suddenly became like an ice cellar. Bai Wenshin shivered, and the sweat on his body suddenly turned into cold sweat, gradually turning into ice. He quickly put down the drink in his hand, shrank into the bed, shivering, and looked at Yao Yao who had broken through in horror. Is this a breakthrough? Yao Yao's aura continued to rise, easily surpassing the extraordinary three stars, and then continued to advance. When he was about to break through to the elite level, the moon wheel mark on his forehead shone brightly, suppressing the remaining moonlight again. Li Chengen turned off the air conditioner and asked with concern, Yao Yao, how are you? Yao Yao. Guji. The moon blade skill has broken through, and the rest has not changed. The remaining energy allows me to use it until Elite 2. Li Chengen nodded with satisfaction. Yao Yao didn't need to think about how to break through for the time being. The money saved could be used to buy the materials for the intermediate pet beast spiritual food in advance. As for the mental feedback brought by Yao Yao's breakthrough, it was absorbed by the ability, strong roots, and converted into material. Li Chengen is very satisfied with the fact that his talent of dexterity has been extended to his crotch. This means he can last longer and see the possibility of talent transformation. Once the roots extend to the legs, it means that the effect of ingenuity can radiate throughout the body. The basic body skills that he has always struggled to improve are expected to be improved to the realm of seeing gods as quickly as possible after his talent transformation. By then, he will have the hard conditions to officially cultivate the potential fusion space, and his survivability will be greatly improved. Bai Wenshin hid under the quilt and said with a trembling voice, Did Yao Yao make a breakthrough? Um, Li Chengen picked up Yao Yao, walked into the toilet, and rubbed the moon eclipse powder off her body with hot water. He still had some things to do next, 
so he told Bai Wenshen and left the hotel. Before leaving, judging from Bai Wenshen's condition, he probably didn't need to turn on the air conditioner tonight. Li Chengen came to the Beast Control Association in Suihai City and applied for a private training room. He wanted to test how much Yao Yao had strengthened after her breakthrough, and the specific power of the dominant level double blade of the moon. Test your physical fitness first. Li Chengen activated the testing device in the private room, let Yao Yao in, and tested her physical fitness. Yao Yao moved around in the device. After a while, the test report was displayed on the display screen of the device. Li Chengen touched his chin with his finger and said with some surprise, the energy intensity is actually three times higher than before. Is it so much higher than before the transformation? There is also speed. Other aspects are similar to the previous improvement. It seems that the current speciality of the Moon God's choice only shows the energy intensity. Later, Li Chengen asked Yao Yao to use the dominant level double blade of the Moon against the target in the private room. Yao Yao barely paused and released hundreds of energy blades in an instant, knocking down all the targets. Li Chengen's finger that touched his chin paused, and the number of skills he could release at one time increased ten times. Yao Yao's eyes were full of excitement. Guji. There are other changes. Li Chengen immediately set the biggest target in the private room for it. Yao Yao accumulated strength on the spot for a second. A jade-like energy blade appeared on Yao Yao's head, ten meters long. The aura of the energy blade made him a little stunned. Elite level. No, no. Yao Yao pushed out the 10-meter-long energy blade very quickly. A brush sound. As smooth as a blue dragon entering water, it passed over the most defensive target in the private room and hit the alloy wall of the private room heavily. The huge roar made Li Chengen swallow his saliva. It was over and he had to lose money. Mao Mao. Meow. Oh. Yao Yao turned around excitedly and showed off to Li Chengen. Guji. Cheng An, I am awesome. At 5.30 in the afternoon, the staff of the Beast Control Association get off work. Li Chengen and Yao Yao looked well behaved and sat on their chairs attentively. They had been educated by the staff for two hours. Very torture. If it hadn't been for the off-duty ringtone on the staff's cell phone, he and Sheikh might have slept here today. You can't throw skills at the association's wall anymore. Don't you have a skill test target? Li Chengen said with an apologetic smile. Unexpected, unexpected, the skill is much more powerful than I imagined. I didn't expect that the target couldn't hold up. The staff was also a little helpless. He also knew that the target in the private room was enough to withstand an elite one star and was cut in half. If it weren't for Yao Yao's breath that was only at the extraordinary level, Li Chengen would now be doing more than just verbal education. One person and one rabbit walked out of the Beast Control Association, breathing a heavy sigh of relief that they were finally out. But then I was filled with joy, this time the competition was stable. That huge energy blade only takes one second to charge, which is about the same amount of time it took to release the double blades of the moon. But the power has increased more than ten times. It is enough to crush all elite one-star pet beasts. Even an elite two-star defense star pet beast will be seriously injured after taking this move. So Li Chengen and Yao Yao were very excited, but Mao Mao looked unhappy. Yao Yao had become stronger, and he would have no chance to play. Later, it was Yao Yao who made Mao Mao happy again with a big meal. On the third day of the Goblet of Fire finals, Li Chengen came to the 20 to 10 game. After advancing this time, the 10 to 5 game started on the second day. At the same time, there will also be a resurrection match among those eliminated who think they are unlucky, and three resurrected players will be selected. On the fifth day, the quarterfinals began in the morning and the fourth round was played in the afternoon. On the sixth day, the champion, runner-up, and third runner-up will be determined. This is the end of Goblet of Fire. As for the seventh day, that is the day when the top three go to the resource library provided by Tianhe Group and select resources. Li Chengen followed the team's player room in Hongyan City. Of the eight players in Hongyan City, only four advanced. Zero. In addition to those two unlucky guys, the other two students from Hongyan number. One middle school were also ruthlessly eliminated. Either go to the Easter match or go on a round trip. Only Li Chengen, Ji Chun, Bai Wenshen and the freshman Fang Huo were left. Well, who is today's contestant? Li Chengen looked at the indoor screen. No, H1 Li Chengen VSQ1 number. 
Palace Crown Jade. When the game arrangements were announced, the waiting audience was in an uproar. It's over. Hongyun City's Du Miao Miao is over. How can we fight this? Gong Guanyu and Li Chengen are the same age, but their strength has reached level 4 Beast Masters. In the eyes of these ordinary viewers, it is impossible for a low level Beast Master to defeat a mid level Beast Master. Isn't this a gift? Team leader Shu Kena looked like she was enjoying the show and stared at Li Chengen, wanting to see any change in the expression on his face. But Li Chengen's still calm expression made her a little disappointed. Shu Kena raised her eyebrows and thought to herself, maybe this kid has some trump cards, forget it, I'm just here to ensure safety anyway, and my grades have nothing to do with me. Hu Bingchao was different, there was a hint of worry on her seemingly calm face. This urban beauty was as anxious as an ant on a hot pot. It's over, it's over, why did I meet those genius beast masters so quickly? When the game preparation bell rings, the first game of the day, Li Chengen vs. Gong Guanyu, officially begins. Before arriving at the competition venue, Gong Guanyu dressed up as a handsome young man and said to Li Chengen, your pet beast potential is very powerful, but your strength as a beast master is too weak. If you practice for a year, you might be able to catch up with me. Gong Guanyu's words were transmitted to every part of the blind field through the loudspeaker. No one will think that what he said is wrong, because the hard power is there, and explanations are useless. Although Li Chengen was not very angry, Gong Guanyu's condescending look still made him narrow his eyes. Said, Are you done? Li Chengen slowly exhaled and said coldly, You should be grateful for this competition rule. Gong Guanyu was confused, What does it mean? When Ku Bingchao in the audience heard this, his elegantly dressed face became slightly stiff. Sure enough, he was still angry. The referee gave the order, The game begins. Yao Yao. Crush his pride, Chinger Lu. A cute little rabbit confronts a cyan thunderbird. There are three phoenix feathers on the head of breaking thunderbird, and its blue tail feathers are slightly slender, and several blue electric currents are aroused on the shining feathers. An invisible pressure came from the five-meter green bird. Comparable to the pressure of the sub-dragon species. It's a pity that Yao Yao didn't react at all, but her eyes were filled with disdain. Just this, not even one ten thousandth of the pressure of Mao Mao. Gong Guanyu's fingers grasping the railing were slightly white. Sure enough, this rabbit had the potential of a king. Otherwise, there would be no reaction at all to Chinger's pressure. But that's all, it's just king level potential. His Chinger has a medium level potential of a king. Once it evolves, it will be at least a high level king, or even higher. I have never heard of any powerful rabbit monster. How can the little rabbit on the opposite side compare with him? Chinger, triple thunder strike. The thunder breaking green bird lightly flapped its wings a few times, and three consecutive powerful lightning strikes struck the specially made arena, leaving behind dark electric traces. Yao Yao's figure disappeared from the spot. With her extraordinary three star speed, her speed increased greatly. Coupled with her unparalleled mental power, she sensed the trajectory of the lightning strike in advance. He dodged this attack. At the same time, the moonlight streamers on the ears glowed with moonlight, and black-green wood energy continued to surge from the blue sky wood on both claws and earlobes. Li Chengen whispered softly, double blades of the moon, covering the range. 883. When Gong Guanyu saw the moonlight floating on Yao Yao's body, alarm bells rang in her heart. Although he calculated that the power of Yao Yao's skills would increase after breaking through to extraordinary three stars, he did not expect that the increase would be a bit big. Even Po Lei Ching felt uneasy. Chinger, Fei Yu Wu, get away from this. Before Gong Guanyu finished speaking, he was stunned by the sight in front of him. In an instant, hundreds of dark green energy blades completely blocked all the escape directions of the thunder breaking blue bird. This green bird is like a caged bird, weak and helpless. Why is the attack power of this moon blade so high? What the hell is this skill proficiency? Can this little rabbit accurately control the trajectories of hundreds of attacks? Gong Guanyu cursed secretly in his heart. Po Lei Chinkwa's life was threatened, and he didn't hear Gong Guanyu's instructions, so he instinctively released his skills to protect himself. High level skills, thunder from all directions. Ten lightning pillars condensed around him, swirling around Po Shao Chink. Boom boom boom. The moon blade and the thunder pillar collided together, 
and a violent energy burst swept from the center of the field, raising gusts of wind. After the blue and green energy fragments dispersed, Gong Guanyu breathed a sigh of relief when he saw the panting blue bird. Fortunately it's okay, but the look he looked at Yao Yao was full of solemnity. Although Ching Er blocked the blow, the situation was not optimistic. He released a high-level skill and consumed one-third of Ching Er's energy. If it happens a few more times, his pet beast will lose its combat effectiveness due to exhaustion of energy. But the rabbit on the opposite side seems to be fine at all. He looks full of energy. The genius of Moss City secretly thought, he must seize the opportunity, use the physical advantage of the elite pet beast at close range, interrupt its skill release, and defeat it. Gong Guanyu decisively gave up fighting with skills and instead used the speed of Fei Yuwu and the dexterity of Yanwei. He kept getting closer to Yao Yao and tried to defeat Yao Yao with physical attacks. Yao Yao just wanted to use a large number of moon blades to stop the thunder-breaking green bird, but was stopped by Li Chang'an. Yao Yao, wait, Yao Yao, who was connected to Li Chang'an, understood immediately, with a look of eagerness in her eyes. A large amount of energy is condensed on its ears, but it is not released, waiting for the blue bird to come to the door. Gong Guanyu has noticed something is wrong between Yao Yao and Li Chang'an, but he has no choice. A hint of amusement appeared on Li Chang'an's face. Either he will be killed by Yao Yao flying a kite with hundreds of moon blades, or he will bet that Yao Yao does not have the ability to kill Lei Chink with one strike. Gong Guanyu doesn't need to think about it and has no chance to choose. Chinger, keep getting closer. Cyan feathers appeared on Gong Guanyu's body, and he activated his talent Blue Thunder Feather, which increased the power and flight speed of Thunder Breaking Blue Bird's electric skills. The Thunder Breaking Blue Bird felt the master's firm belief. Its phoenix eyes were slightly cold, and it resolutely condensed the thunder from all directions again. Use the thunder pillar to wrap yourself up to prevent being struck by the moon blade on the opposite side. Ku Bing Chao in the player room was already stunned, completely impressed by Yao Yao's power. How did he do it? He forced Gong Guanyu to use the high-level attack skill Shifong Laming as a defensive skill. Ku Bing Chao looked at the game screen and murmured, while Shu Kena twitched the corner of her mouth and thought to herself, as expected of my idol's disciple, what a idiot. The extraordinary level defeats the elite level. On this side of the field, the thunder-breaking green bird rushed within three meters of Yao Yao, his eyes full of desire for victory. We're almost there, we're almost touching this rabbit. Suddenly, a gust of cold wind floated past the side of thunder-breaker green bird. In front of its eyes was no longer a blue thunder column, but the white headlights of the competition field. What's going on? Where's Lei Zhu? Immediately, a sharp pain came from its right wing, and the thunderbird's flying posture deformed instantly, passing by Yao Yao's side and hitting the hard fence. With a bang, he fainted. It left a long trail of blood on the playing stage. Behind the thunder-breaking blue bird, a 10-meter long crack appeared on the specially made ground. The competition venue was silent. Gong Guanyu looked at the broken left wing of Po Lei Chink and felt extremely painful in his heart. Chinger, a shrill scream came from Gong Guanyu's mouth. His eyes were about to burst, and his eyes were filled with bloodshot eyes, as if he was about to eat Li Chang'an alive. He is no longer the handsome young man he was at the beginning. The medical staff of the Goblet of Fire quickly boarded the playing field, and the healing beasts continuously released their healing skills to stop the Thunder Breaker Green Bird's injuries. He put the wings and the broken thunder bird on the stretcher, and rushed to do the limb replacement surgery. Li Chang'an showed no mercy and asked Gong Guanyu coldly, stunned. Go ahead and crush my pride, Gong Daganius. Gong Guanyu's expression was very scary, like a tiger about to bite people, and he said word by word, just wait for me. Then he gave in to the referee and hurried to the emergency room. Li Chang'an chuckled, it's just a loser, not worth mentioning. Although Yao Yao's body was also dark in a large area, she was also very excited. The moon blade had previously cut off the thunder-breaking blue bird's offensive, but the thunder from all directions condensed by the blue bird did not disappear immediately. Even though Yao Yao was very fast, she was still affected after all. Yao Yao, Moonlight Heals After hearing Li Chang'an's instructions, the excited Yao Yao realized that her injury was not optimistic. The numbness caused by the electric current and the burning stinging sensation continued from inside the body. 
Yao Yao shook her ears, and streams of moonlight fell from the sky and fell on its dark hair. After a while, the white hair that had been burned by electricity returned to its crystal white color, and most of the injuries on his body were gone. Standing on the playing field refreshed and proud again. This scene happened to the players from other cities, and their pupils were shocked. It also has self-healing skills. Even Wu Hongyun, who was full of confidence, couldn't help but curse at this moment. His attack power was powerful, his speed was fast, and his energy reserve capacity was high. It's unreasonable that he even has healing skills. You spent a long time grinding against the opponent, and finally attacked, and suddenly a healing skill came out. Oh, the injuries are all healed. No one can stand this. At this moment, everyone on the field realized that this boy was probably the biggest and darkest horse in this competition. As an extraordinary pet beast, he easily defeated the elite thunder breaking green bird without much damage. The previous propaganda about how talented Gong Guanyu was has now become a joke. The team leader of Qingmao City could not express his sorrow at this moment. Qingmao City and Hongyun City were both brothers in Zi province. Not only is the economy about to take off, but the geniuses in this city are also so unique. It's so enviable. His mood at the moment was like a sentence on the internet. He was afraid that his brother would suffer hardship, and he was also afraid that his brother would drive a Land Rover. Li Chengen returned to the waiting city under the cheers of all the players in Hongyun City. The pet emergency room at Goblet of Fire. Gong Guanyu walked around anxiously in front of the emergency room with a gloomy expression. An old man came over. When Gong Guanyu saw the old man, he hurriedly said, Master, Chinger. The old man touched Gong Guanyu's head, and Gong Guanyu's shattered state of mind returned to calm again. Don't be anxious, don't be anxious. This little guy is fine, but you can't use it to fight in the next few months, otherwise you will be disabled for the rest of your life and you will have to be a wandering chicken for the rest of your life. Hearing this, Gong Guanyu looked gloomy and defeated, and Chink could not break the thunder. This meant that he had lost the qualification to compete for the top three. The old man seemed not to see the disappointment on Gong Guanyu's face, sitting on the blue plastic chair at the door. Asked, how do you feel after today's defeat? Gong Guanyu thought the old man was accusing him, and quickly explained, I was careless today, and I will take revenge next time. The old man sighed, shook his head helplessly, and said with a stern tone, careless. If you don't discover your own flaws, you will never be able to catch up with that little guy in your life. When Gong Guanyu heard the old man's words, he shook his head violently and said, Impossible, I am the same age as him, I am already a level 4 beast master, and he is still spinning around as a level 3 beast master, how can he catch up with me? Quote. The old man was still gentle, with a trace of pity in his eyes, and sighed heavily, After all, it's up to me, old man, to shatter your illusions. This sentence made Gong Guanyu's heart feel as if a fist was clenching tightly, making him breathless. You and he are the same age, but you have to know that you signed a contract with Xiao Kuerer a year in advance. In total, you have practiced one year more than him. This is one of them. Secondly, since you became a beast master, you have been trained by your family with all the efforts. You can stretch your hands with clothes and open your mouth with food. Do you know the Bai family? Gong Guanyu's expression changed and she said, Master, are you saying that this Li Chang'an is a genius trained by the Bai family? Even so, he can't compare with me. The old man waved his hand and continued, You are wrong. Old man, I mean, the way the Li family's parents raised Li Chang'an is similar to the Bai family's. Suddenly Gong Guanyu's face turned pale, and she muttered that it was impossible. He already understood why the old man said that he was far inferior to Li Chang'an. Because after a member of the Bai family becomes a beast master, the family will no longer provide financial assistance and will rely solely on the younger generation's own strength to earn resources. Until you get ahead. During this period, the Bai family's connections can be used, but the Bai family's funds and resources cannot be used. Can't do evil. Therefore, for a long time, although the Bai family is not rich and powerful in Province Z, outstanding talents have emerged in every generation. After accumulating to this point, even the top leaders of Province Z must be polite when meeting the head of the Bai family. The old man left Gong Guanyu alone, sitting in despair at the door of the emergency room. He glanced back and thought to himself, 
Disciple, only when you abandon the so-called genius name and face yourself squarely will you be qualified to face a real husband like Ji Cheng An. Thinking of the information given by my old friend, I couldn't help but show a hint of envy even for the old man's self-cultivation. Having lived to this age, he has long understood that people cannot be compared with each other. The gap between some people is even greater than the gap between beast masters and ants. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.